had to be on the radio. No, oh, definitely okay. not, especially the version you just played. Yep. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you. Good luck out there. Thanks. We all need it. Yeah. Uh, there's just a story that just hit the uh, just hit the news. A breaking story. Do we have audio or we don't? Well, uh, we do or don't. Just off, uh, Frank threw a microphone. Apparently, an airplane has hit the World Trade Center. Man. You see this story? And they're showing some. Let's see if we can get some audio on this here. You can see the video. As Matt just mentioned, we have a breaking news story to tell you about. Apparently, a plane has just crashed into the World Trade Center here in New York City. It happened just a few moments ago, apparently. We have very little information available at this point in time. But on the phone, we do have Jennifer Oberstein, who apparently witnessed this event. Jennifer, can you hear me? There is smoke coming from the World Trade Center. Hello? Hi, Jennifer. You can see where it hit on the side of the building. Can you please tell me what you saw? And to give me any information about what's going on there. Yes, I have to tell you, um, it's, it's quite terrifying. I'm in shock right now. I came out of the subway at Bowling Green. I was heading to work in Battery Park at the Ritz Carlton Hotel, and I come out and it, I saw a big, I heard a boom, walked up, and there was a big ball of fire. I'm now looking north at the World Trade Center, and it is the West Twin Tower if I'm looking north. I'm in Battery Park right now, and you can hear the fire engines and the emergency and emergency crews behind me. And it is unbelievable when the fire first burst, it was a... Hello? Go yes, ahead. Go we ahead. can hear you. In air like I've never seen before. Um, and I, as you know, I used to work in news. I've never seen any fire like this in the air. And the pieces of the building were flying down. Wow. It looks like it's the, it's like the top, I can't even tell you, maybe 20 floors. Oh. Intense smoke. It's, it's horrible. It's, I, I, I can't even describe it. Jennifer. Do you have any idea what kind of plane it was? I'm sorry? Do you have any idea what hit the World Trade Center? What it was? Yeah, what kind of plane? We're getting reports that an airplane hit the building. Oh, it was, I, I didn't even know that. Honestly, I was walking up, and it looked up and saw a big boom and fire. You know, I got to tell you, we were all saying around here that it was very interesting that it would be a bomb and it would be so high up. So it, perhaps, it, perhaps it was a plane. We have no... No talk of a plane. However, I have to tell you, there's still there are still things flying in the air. I mean, it it's mind boggling and it was it's horrifying. Jennifer, it's Matt Lauer. I, I'd like to ask you, while you were close to the building, or, or have you since the explosion seen anyone who's been injured being taken out of the building? Are there ambulances dealing with people on the sidewalk around the building? No, I have not. I, I have not gotten that close. I have to tell you that. My father works in the World Financial Center, and I first called over there to see because it's next Look at those pictures. See, you know, Holy oh, crap, so there is a huge through. hole in the side of the building. I thought it might be a little dangerous to get too close. I saw lots of lots of debris coming down, and right now I'm in Battery Park. I don't know, you know, it's, it's only, it's probably a five-minute walk from here to the World Trade see that, see that big thing on the top, that tower? Incredible. Well, there's I two of them. Yeah, the the no, the other one on the side looks like a... In fact, uh, we're looking at pictures right now, Jennifer, like a vent of some type. a gaping hole on the side of the building and building... I hate to say it, I look at things differently. See that radio tower up there? Yeah. That Z100... <laughs> turn on and then on the what i think is the west side of the building we can also see some holes there that could have been from damage once the impact occurred again we've been told that this is a plane we don't have confirmation on that wow. but there is an enormous hole in the north side of that building wow can you tell us a little bit more about what you heard when you heard oh. this explosion all right now this guy is saying the two planes hold on let's uh, let's kill that for a second because some people are calling up we'll have to turn on get a uh, put on uh, cnn could you uh, here's Jeff. Good morning, Jeff. Hi, Bill. What do you know, man? Well, I'll tell you what. I'm watching Fox, right? And while I was watching the uh, the one tower being in flames and everything and them Come talking on. about a plane, I saw another plane. There it goes again. They just replayed it. A plane what hit the second tower. What another hit the plane first one? hit the second tower. So this two? is terrorism, folks. So you're, is, look at that. Look at that. Oh, my God. It was intentional. I'm telling you. <gasps> Look oh at my that. God! Definitely. So the other one hit from the other side. Hit from the other and side. Came through. Yep. Holy what, crap. I, what I don't understand is with this happening and everything, why is it? Aren't there? Well, not that. Where's the freaking military? For God's sake! That's what I'm talking about. 
I get the New York City. Two plane plane crashes into World Trade Center. Plane now, crashes now, World you Trade know Center. this plane hit the side of the building. I want to know about you know you got all those people in there, but you got the debris on the ground too and everything, yep. and everybody yeah, watching. Yeah, 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 yeah. By the World wow. Trade Center, can you imagine so how the packed first that one, is? the first one hit. There's Watch this here. Here's another hit. one coming in. The second in. one comes from the back. Oh Bang. my God! Yeah, I tell you, I gotta tell you something. That just happened about three minutes ago. Wow. That second one. You know what? I'm going to tell you. Have we not always said that this is the way this country will be to war next? Yeah. Yep. It'll be terrorism from within the country. I bet that's what it is. And, you know, I mean, it's two airplanes. Well, and it's got to be terrorism. The first one, there's an accident. The well, I'll tell you one, what. Right. I'll tell you what, one thing. That there's no doubt the FAA has to know where these airplanes took off. Right. right. Yeah. And, yeah. Yep. Because this is, you know, they're not coming the from City UK or anything like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Unless they came down from Canada. But even then, they should know. <laughs> Canada's right? not going to terrorize no. the U.S., though. No, no, no but no, that's, no, a, they, great, oh, that's a great place, place to come in from. That's where a lot of yep. terrorists will, will oh, terrorists to get into Canada. Come on, we could get vodka across You're the right. border for God's <laughs> we had a, sake. We had a story recently about how easy it would be for terrorists to come through Canada. Because it's just easy to get into Canada. God. The French. That is amazing. Well, that, right, by the way, that, that, that plane that hits a twin engine jet. Twin engine. Twin engine. A jet? Yeah, I don't see no I don't see no props on that thing at all. Wow. I've never seen anything like it. Amazing. All right. All right so okay. All right, Bill. Jeff, thank you, man. Yeah. Welcome by. It that is amazing is that the incredible. building the structure itself seems intact. Should we go to Fox? Because that's where he was watching it from. Yeah, what do we want? Wait, they're gonna show it right there. Oh, 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 go back. Too late. Now we're on Catholic TV. <laughs> Great. <laughs> oh, man. It's a damn Catholics. See, that's after They're showing that the one. one. Man. Who now, the heck got this video? Do they have airplanes that people don't don't have to? They just put them on aut autopilot and you can, uh, or. That you oh, they do well, have. Yeah, but you yeah. have to start it. So You have to take these, it off from somewhere. No, we, we, Although maybe you could parachute realize out. realize this first one hit. The first plane there hit. There's a second look at one. Look at that, look at that coming around coming the back in. of the building, and then it almost comes through. The first plane hits. Oh, automatically, everybody puts their cameras on it. NBC and Fox. Right. right. And then the second plane comes in. So you're just lucky you got the second plane in there. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's why they... The no, they, maybe they did that deliberately. Right. 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 Yeah. And they waited perfect time. Okay, we're live on TV. Go. Oh. Yeah. That sort of thing. <laughs> the Twin Towers, they took out both buildings. Here's Dave. Good morning, Dave. Bill. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, I tell you, it was amazing. Just as you start talking about it, I turned on the TV. Yeah. And I saw that second plane hit live. Unbelievable. Oh you know what? NBC has got eyewitnesses saying right now both these towers are starting to lean. Oh, yeah. oh no. Can you these imagine if these collapse? collapse? Look at that. It's I mean, if they don't collapse, the tops could just burn well, right up. The oh, yeah, burning. They're going to burn for sure, but they said that the eyewitnesses are saying these towers are definitely leaning. Oh, oh my and God. The Can burning, you imagine how many people are in those buildings right now? The burning of these. Now, both towers are burning, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is definitely terrorist. Now wait a minute. Is are they? What's the shot we're looking at here? This live shot. That's There's the twin. They're twin towers. The twin towers. The yeah, that's the right. World it's Trade like, Center. But both of them have like, hits. Yeah, right. One of each. The World Tw Trade Center has like two big columns and then a base at the middle. Yep. And so there's like a tower at either end of the building, and then the base in the middle. This That's what you're seeing it from different tent. angles. Yeah, this is amazing. Wow. But the, the tops of those buildings, can you imagine how many people at 9 in the morning are in those buildings? Wow. People, I mean, what time do you start work in the morning? Yeah, 8, yeah. 9 They're o'clock. There. Yep. Everybody's there. They've just started working. They're out to get us. Oh, my God. I'm telling you something. And you're talking probably 10 to 15 floors on this right tower, 20 to 30 on the left. Yeah, this is going to turn into a major tragedy. Well, this country yeah. this country has got us. We better we answer take, to this we one. we got to take the gloves off, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Uh -oh. Yeah, but you know the sad thing is, oh you know the sad thing is, is it's going to change the way you live your life. Yeah. yeah. All of a sudden, the rights that we have, it's like, you know, look at the, the White House. We were talking about this the other day. The White House used to be, you could just walk up to the White House. Today, it does look like it's leaning, doesn't it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Today, you cannot, you can't get near the White House because of fear of terrorist attack, right. fear of a... Bill, I got a question for you. This is the same building that was bombed by the air. Yeah, yeah that's right. right. Yeah. Now, this why is. the heck they haven't we beefed up our security to prevent this? Well, they probably, you... they probably did from beef the outside. up. They probably did from the ground. Yeah. There is. Oh, Look at that. God. NBC showing it live hit. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Well, it almost came right through the that building. That was a it huge... Shot stuff out right into the other Folks, buildings. Folks, I wouldn't be... I'm going to tell you something here. Blade. 
Can I say something? I don't know that this might not. That was a end. huge plane. Yes. I don't little... know that this might not have been a commercial plane. No, that's... no, that's kamikaze hit. Yeah, yeah, but that doesn't yeah. mean anything. You could have a pilot yeah. who is flying an airplane, leaves Kennedy Airport with passengers aboard, oh my God. and flies into the World Trade Center as a kamikaze terrorist action. Oh, yeah. You're right. You see what I'm saying? I'll tell you something yeah. else. That may not be the last one. You're right. right. Oh, God, let's hope it is. Now, folks, it's time to be thankful that you live in Utica, New York. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. these kamikaze wacko nutcakes don't know where we live. Wait, there's there's a nut- see that plane flying behind? No, that's behind? a chopper or something. There's two of them, yeah. Oh, okay. Those got to be news Those choppers. Are news and what? police. This is history in the making Wow, right he's here, close, boy. too. Un- Amazing. You're gonna see this. How about these poor bastards TV that are up today. there? These towers ain't done yet. No. Can you imagine? Now, are those there those are no all way. people up on the top? Gotta be. Yeah. yeah. Well, those are all offices. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Those are some of the most prestigious offices. Yeah. That's some of the most prestigious oh, offices. Oh yeah, the top of the, of the World Trade Center. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Big buck. Wow. Hey, Bill, you guys got any phone numbers of anybody? In those yeah, we're gonna we're gonna call? we're gonna call down. And if you, I'm gonna get Linda to get on the phone, I'm gonna take some phone calls. Let me take some calls now. As a matter of fact, unbelievable. Uh, what is just? Thank you, David. See you later. This what is has just occurred is two airplanes at two different times have rammed in to the World Trade Center, and they look to me as if they're commercial planes. I mean, all that I, I don't know that they're commercial, but they look big. They're big planes. Well, they're the one was at planes. least one was a jet. Yeah. Someone calls a seven thirty seven passenger. With passengers. No, no, no. A passenger jet. Oh, it was a passenger jet. That's why I'm saying yeah. for it them like to, it. you get some nutcake that's gone kind of undercover and yeah. and he's a terrorist, <laughs> but he's gone undercover as a as a commercial f- pilot. Yeah. To say, well, how about that guy that passengers right into it? How about that? Uh, was it Air Egypt that ditched? Yeah. And they say that they say the guy was nuts, yeah. but they say it was a religious. He was having All a religious name experience. Nutcake religions, man! I got to tell you, you wonder why people are down on religion, because yeah. half the wars in the world are caused by it. it makes now no the sense. Now, if you look at that, the top of the one on the right, where he was saying it looks like it's leaning. Yeah. There it does. It, it does. looks like it could just collapse off the top. Here's Sue. Good morning, Sue. Good morning, uh, Lester Holt on MSNBC was just saying he's a. Uh, He's a correspondent. He's also a pilot. Yeah. He, they froze the pictures. They said it looks like a 737 or an 820, I believe, was the other one. Okay. Yeah. These are passenger jets, commercial passenger jets, carry up to 100 passengers. Oh, my God. Yeah, so I'm telling big, you. It looks, it, when I saw that last one, they had a NBC or whoever did had a close up shot of that thing coming in. It looked like a passenger, a passenger. Yeah, yeah, but I can't, I mean, I can't see that as being a, uh, uh, an airline pilot that's working for an airline. Can you though? I mean, what, oh, yeah, if, what yeah, is yeah, that yeah, religion? Yeah, but I'm saying, what is that religion going to offer the guy? Have you ever walked through, uh, JFK? Oh, or, I know. Uh-huh. There's, and, it's the United Nations. I understand. It is. That. Every airline, LL. But I'm and saying, what are they going to offer? What are they going to offer a guy making a couple hundred thousand a year? They don't offer you know? him. He's he's a nut. He's these people have a different mentality. No, this is it's no. in the name of God or no. whatever no. their bomber who God walked is. into a bar in the Middle East with his whole body laced with bombs. It's yeah. the same thing. Yeah. This is somebody Suicide who's doing bombing. it just for the cause. Yep. And these yeah, were planned. This was what but most of those guys most of those guys that do that come from very poor families. Okay. I just want well, MSNBC talked to a suicide bomber who got caught the other day. Uh-huh. <laughs> huh. These people uh he didn't get caught the other day, but they talked to him. Yeah. He, okay, they talked to his parents, all that. These kids get promised. He didn't necessarily do it for this reason. Oh, right. But I saw kids, this. Saw it, it is not, it is not a... When they go to heaven or wherever it is that they it's go. It's the afterlife. You get 17 virgins. And... It's the afterlife. You're right. Yep. I saw that same report. It was on, uh, it wasn't MSNBC. It was, uh, it probably ended up on there, but it was a dateline. And it's the afterlife that they're given. It's the most, and they actually talked to, they showed pictures of the kid. They talked to the guy that, that was in prison. That 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 basically talked him into doing this, uh-huh. and they they have a name for it. But they become something special in the eyes of God because right. they have a they, and they become like for us it might be a saint. You become a saint, right. uh, but they become something special in their ridiculous religion. Whatever. Well, it's it back is. in World War II, the kamikazes they were held in high esteem if you were willing to be a yeah. kamikaze. But, but family, this is their different. families were were given money and prestige and all this right. other stuff. Yeah, but uh, but you're right though. This kid was poor. Yeah. And uh, those but, are the ones they're going to get because yeah. the ones that have got it, that have come from money they don't need that stuff. You I know don't know. I mean? This is but over. You don't yet. know what it's about. 
I don't know that this is necessarily over. Sue, I appreciate the call. All right. All right. I don't know that it's necessarily over. I believe the World Bank is also uh, housed at the World Trade Center. Hello. Well. Good morning. Probably. I don't know who you are, but I took your call. Hello. Bill? Yeah. Me again. Hey, David, they David. just got uh, inside information from the airlines that the, the jets were hijacked. <gasps> they were hijacked. Oh, my God. Yeah. They were made to flow, fly into those towers. Oh, my God. Wow. Oh, my God. Imagine that. Unbelievable. This is uh, this is unfolding as we have it here. I'll get you some audio in a second. I do have to take a uh, a little bit of a break. Oh um, my God. Not necessarily for commercials, but I have to take it badly. Uh, this yeah, is disaster, and it could change the way we live our lives. This truly will change the way we live our lives. You think security's been rough? You think it takes a while to get on an airplane today? Oh. Before today. You wait for over the next six months. You, the way the Israelis do it, it's the right way to do it, boy. You don't get on an Israeli plane with a piece of bubble gum. Yeah. Man, oh, man. I can't even believe it. Uh, the story is World Trade Center has been hit. Uh, unconfirmed reports say that the uh, the planes left JFK Airport and were hijacked and made to fly in commercial jets, made to fly into the Twin Towers, the World Trade Center, New York City, which is bellowing of smoke right now. One hit was about midway up the the uh, the uh, the building, and the other one seems to be a little bit higher. So all of those people are in the midst of bellowing smoke and fire. And as you see the smoke coming out of those trade the trade center, I don't know how anybody could survive don't anywhere up above in that uh, in in that building. In buildings that size, if there's a fire like this, don't the elevators automatically stop? So they have to use the stairways to get out. Which would take you how long? In a World it's Trade a Center. WRCK Utica Rome, 17 after 9 o'clock. Life's a trip. Make the most of it with a new Honda from Carbone Honda during the 2001 Honda clearance. Now through September 30th, save the most with Carbone Honda's incredible end of model year discounts. Get your best deal of the year on a new Honda CRV packed with safety features and four wheel drive performance, or a new Honda Civic for fuel efficiency and outstanding safety. Every new 2001 Honda is discounted, but only until September 30th. Save the most right now at Carbone Honda, where superior assistance and customers support our standard equipment. Check out the new 2002s arriving daily, including the Honda Odyssey, named best minivan by Automobile Magazine. Or shop Carbone Honda's pre-owned selection and drive with confidence. Every 96 model year or newer certified pre-owned Honda comes with Carbone's incredible 7-year 100,000 mile warranty. Life's a trip. Make the most of it. But hurry, the 2001 Honda clearance is only through... As a full or part-time student. Classes start soon, so call USC for a visit today, because... No hey, as a full... 14... Earn a degree or certificate during our day or evening classes as a full or part-time student. Classes start soon, so call USC for a visit today, because knowledge can set you free. 107 WRCK, and now back to Keeler in the Morning. Never seen anything like this in my life, folks. Holy moly. Uh, we are looking at, right uh, the, I mean, right in the middle of my yeah. stomach. There are remaining other uh, terrorist attacks that could be uh, planned either in New York or elsewhere. This is absolutely the worst case scenario for the counter-terrorist planners uh, because apparently, according to intelligence officials, there were no firm indications prior to this that anything like this could have happened. But in terms of scrambling the U.S. military, it would be for protection uh, for the time being and not necessarily even thinking right now about any kind of retaliation. Yeah, kill that audio for a second. I'm going to tell you, that okay, is, exactly. my my feeling is that a, uh, you want the perfect, uh, the perfect terrorist scenario. What I have, what I fear yeah. is, and I know this sounds stupid, maybe I'm a paranoid goofball, but I just thought all those taxi drivers all at once oh, stopped at a certain time and got out and just started shooting everybody. There's a lot of, uh, yeah. I mean, you look at those taxi drivers. They don't look happy to be driving those taxis. I get in some of those taxis in New York City, and, man, I'm going to tell you, they look like they want to kill you before you even pay. Man. And, 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 and the worst possible scenario would be an attack from within the country. Yep. That is, this happens. Something happens in Boston. Something happens in L.A. Well, that's what's Something, and, and, and New York City is a perfect location sure because is. you're, I mean, it's just so condensed. 
Well, but it can happen the, all over the, the country. It's the media capital of the world. And yep. someday it will. We have everything everybody else wants. They detest us. I have. I, I'll tell you something. I uh, I have a very good friend of mine who was born and raised in the Middle East, who is a uh, who is a uh, a businessman here in town, and he says. Don't let anybody fool you. He said they only hate us because they're jealous. Yeah. And every single one of them, while they're holding the burning flag, wishes they were here. Yeah. Every single one of them. Here's uh, here's uh, Tulio first. Good morning, Tulio. Hey, Bill. Listen, this is that World Trade Center thing. Remember how the girl said when they were asking, had she seen any people coming out of the building? And Kay was mentioning about the elevators, and yes. she said she had not seen people coming out of the building. Yes. Yeah. They're trapped in that building. Yeah. The way these elevators are designed, Bill, you know I used to build and design elevators. Uh-huh. In the case of a major emergency like this, is a special fire service mode that they go into where all the elevators come down to the main lobby right. and land there. Yeah. You cannot call them elevators from any of those floors so that the fire department can get in and get up to these floors and yeah. make sure that everything's safe. The problem is, is with a structural... Uh, attack like this, those elevators may not even be able to go up the elevator shaft. Yeah, yeah. So those people are literally trapped in that building right now. And wouldn't the stairwells, as soon as those doors are open, aren't those stairwells just going to fill with smoke? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, they're the going to fill with smoke. With these they're going to fill with people. These, yeah. a, a lot of these buildings in the cities, those stairwells, a lot of times those access doors are locked. They're yeah. like one-way yeah. doors. Well, you're going to, um, uh, you're, you're, there's got to be an evacuation underway right now. For the people midway up and down, there's panic, but they're they're probably going to be able to get out. Right. For the people up above, uh, I don't know that those people can get out. Mm-hmm. And I imagine the smoke is they? just is is I hate to say it, but is is sure. killing well, them. As we yeah. look at the smoke bellowing, just, look at the smoke bellowing now. It's worse. My and gosh. it's not just the smoke; it's the toxic smoke. Yeah. yeah. Well, you got to remember incredible. when the when the What's planes hit. That building? Right. When the planes hit with that kind of force, <laughs> oh, it's the fuel from the plane oh, yeah. sprayed forward. Yeah. Yeah. And that spraying fuel was like, I mean, was like a huge, uh, uh, you know, a fireball. Well, the second yeah. hit. Julio, thank you, man. The I, second I, hit. Bill, one yeah. quick question. Yeah. Um, what I'd like to know was, were were those hijackers smoking pot when they? Took yeah, the plane? that's a good question. Because they got high. I'll have to get on that. They act crazy. Take it easy, guys. All right, man. Thank you. Here's Frank. How you doing, man? So help me out on this. I have no visual. I'm at work. Phil. Oh, well, my God. This where, is where, 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 these are both commercial liners? They were yep. commercial, commercial hi- airliners. Hijack- so you're talking 737s? Yeah, yeah that sort of thing, yes. yeah. And, and they were both hijacked. Supposedly, Hijacked, yes. and what you're the seeing, the picture now. that you cannot see right now is a picture of the Twin Towers, World Trade Center, New York City. The uh, the left, uh, at least from my picture here, seems to be about about three quarters of the way up that right. tower. The um, the the other one is probably up at the uh, a fifth, maybe a fifth of the of the and and, the and there is just huge smoke bellowing from those uh, from the World the Trade city. Center. So, th- so they impacted right into the building. Yes. Right into they the building. Flew yeah. Right in. They One of them right almost in. came through the other side. Yeah. Jeez. I've never seen anything oh like it in my life. Was this at the same time or well, the second 18 hit, minutes, minutes apart? And the second hit we had live on TV because the fir- because Original. the cameras were on the first one. Yeah. Good God. I've never seen anything like it. The first one hit one like tower. It. The second one a little lower. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. Oh. The second one, a little lower, hit the second tower, and it hit so hard it almost came through the building. Now those people that are in there, those people are dead. Yeah, those oh, people above no any I mean, of the floors be one or two above. Maybe, but I don't know how they can it, survive it with that. Uh, they can't breathe. And we were in shock when how many six people died when uh-huh. the van went underneath in the garage. Yeah, what's, yeah. what's going to come out of this? I, this I don't know huge. how many so this people. Is, this is thousands. I'll will, tell you something. One thing that's amazing me right now is that neither of neither of these buildings has toppled. Or right. has, or or at least a section of the buildings have toppled. Well, I mean, you took a 737 airliner that just took off on a JFK or LaGuardia yeah. that was full of fuel and popped into these things. You it's know, full, full of people probably. Oh, it, oh, it, yeah. it was, yeah. 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 Now, well, I wonder. I mean, did, now they. I wonder. Who, did they force the pilot to do it or kill the pilot? They said that it was. I, I'm. I, what well, we well, we're only surmising at this time, but I I can't imagine a pilot wanting to do that, even with a gun to his head, sure. that would that would do that. Sure. So it had to have been a terrorist. Now, as you're looking at a long in a long shot, you see it is, 
you know, 90% of the building has not been touched on, on right. one of them. Really? Um, oh. But then oh, that second hit there, comes through. that second hit goes oh. about a little more than, uh, than halfway up. I'm telling you, and anybody above oh my those floors, as you see the smoke bellowing, anybody That's above... Really that was a huge plane. Anybody talking, above on those floors will never survive that. You're talking easily in the in the right tower, easily ten to twelve floors, fifteen maybe. Oh no the no 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 no! On the right one, you're looking at. Uh, I'll 20? bet you you're looking at maybe thirty floors. Oh, you think? Forty that floors? Many? Yeah, that many. So yeah. that means in the other buildings. building, you're yeah. talking seventy floors. Oh, easily yeah. seventy, eighty floors there. Good lord! Wouldn't you think? Maybe not floors. that much. Maybe I, I really well, that's don't. That's why I'm saying, like the very top of the building is probably. Not a floor of people. See how the section at the very top, it looks like about an inch from our view. That's probably not an actual floor. Road yeah, but trip. you look how far that... Okay, it's, here's the president. The Let's see if we can get to the president. Hold on a second. Hold on there, uh, Franklin. Let's see if I can pick it up. Secretary Rod Pace and Lieutenant Governor <clears throat> will take the podium and discuss education. education. I do want to thank the folks here at, uh, at the Booker Elementary School for their hospitality. Uh, today, we've had a national tragedy. Two airplanes have crashed into the World Trade Center in an apparent terrorist attack on our country. Oh my God. See, I would remove these kids. What are these kids doing there? there? Get the kids out of there. To the director of the FBI. We got a bunch of kids standing up there. Little He's boys. at an He's elementary addressing. school. He's get them out of there. Elementary school. Yeah, but I think before I made a so comment, I'd get the kids the out of there. And, the, and to conduct a full-scale investigation to hunt down and to find those folks. Osama bin Laden, you dirty bastard. Terrorism against our nation will not stand. And now if you join me in a moment of silence. May God bless the victims, their families, and America. Thank you very much. No, 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 no. That, of okay, course, they're, was they're President Bush. Clapping for him. <laughs> Florida in Longboat Key. He was speaking at an oh, elementary Sarasota. school. He had planned to be Brayden talking Sarasota. about literacy. Obviously, he had to change. He mentioned that this is an apparent... The building right now, you're seeing a live shot. The building right now is in flames. Washington. He said that he had spoken to the governor of New York as well as the vice president, that all the resources will be brought to bear by the federal government Road to trip. determine who did this and who was responsible for this terrible, terrible event and then of course it was followed by a moment of silence for the victims oh boy pretty amazing bill yeah you know i know frank said osama bin laden and, and you know everyone's thoughts are that way anyways but this would be more tragic if it's even internal like a mcveigh oh yeah my God. Now, do you remember you're, you're, you're absolutely wrong. right I'm starting to can't open a can of worms here but, but you're it's absolutely possible. right it is it's completely possible who thought oklahoma was internal uh-huh Everybody automatically thought it was somebody, a foreigner, Some foreign the whole, country. and there it is, Timothy McVeigh. Exactly. Yeah. Well, well, you'll know because when they do find, uh, well, who knows what they know. This right. one but should be hung will in there the be a, center square. Can <laughs> they, they still find a black box out of something like this? Yeah, but they must have not known much because this look, you, you know, usually these people know things that we don't even hear about. or You know yeah. what I mean? They, yeah. they know everything undercover. But. you got to assume the FAA has got something on tape, because I guarantee you somebody yelled something before that thing popped. Right. You know what I mean? I right. mean, it was either Allah or, you know, yeah, Timothy yeah. McVeigh or something. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. All right, Frank, thank you, man. Okay, Bill, thanks. Here's, uh, here's David. Good morning, Dave. Hey, Bill. Uh, Frank could be right, because they were just saying that there is absolutely no intelligence reports of any of this being even heard of going on. Uh, because they said that they always have uh, connections worldwide of all these threats, and there was absolutely no threat of terrorism in the New York City area. So who knows? That could have been a wacko like McVeigh. Uh huh. And you know the other thing? Just think of all the people that are probably dying as we speak. I mean, I that smoke gets into those buildings, HVAC systems, and that's yep. just going throughout the whole building. And people that are breathing, or trying to breathe right now, are just probably just taking their life. And to get yeah. out of a building, how many stories are there in the World Trade Center? Does anybody know? Oh God. Taller, they're t they're the almost as tall as the Empire State Building. Well, they're no, taller. No, no, they're taller, it's taller than, than the Empire yeah, State yeah, Building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. World Trade Center, the two tallest. Three hundred something. Are they the tallest buildings in New York City? Yes. Yeah. Or is the Sears uh, no, Sears uh, Tower? The no, Twin Towers. Are Twin Towers yeah. is the tallest. Yeah. So is it's like three hundred and twenty floors. 
now that he just said something about the AC system. If this smoke gets into the air conditioning system, and I would think something like this would shut down all the electrical in the building, can this tra the smoke travel down? Yes, that's what the HVAC system is. It just recirculates the air, you know, and it's but going throughout the whole building. But would a, would a catastrophe like this shut down all the electric in the building? I don't building? think well, you would hope so, but yeah. I, just, I just can't believe the amount of... Uh, Deaths that are going to be. Think about also when those when that debris fell. Oh, th there's got to be deaths on the ground. Yeah, People this will this this will turn out to be the 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 largest disaster. Oh, yeah, yeah. this will be worse uh, than Oklahoma ever ever. Yeah, this will yeah. be worse than that. If you had a plane full of people, what's the plane hold? A couple hundred people. Uh huh. Well, those, they all said, those people are dead. They said a hundred on that size plane. It holds wow. about a hundred people. Unbelievable. David, thank you, man. See you later. Keep us up to date on what you find out, what you learn. Uh, Sue, good morning. Uh, good morning. I, you know why I don't think it's a terrorist thing, a uh, domestic terrorist thing? Because it, say Timothy McVeigh had done this instead of blowing it up with a truck bomb. Mm -hmm. Or driven, he'd say he drove the truck into the Oklahoma City. Anyway. No one to carry out, no one to say why he did it. There's no one left. I don't think there's a domestic terrorist group big enough mm -hmm. to do this and have someone carry on their message. Yeah, but you remember the Oklahoma City deal. Uh, well, he he didn't, you know, he didn't walk away. But he remember, well, uh, the reason the reason not why in the, re the end, but the, I'm saying he didn't do yeah. it as a suicide. The bomb, reason why I I don't I think you're right with that. The reason why you don't think domestic is because it's suicide. And you don't exactly. want to believe it either. And you don't I, want to I, believe no, it. No, I, I think Americans are capable of it. I just don't think we think that way. We're too yeah. selfish. That's right Look where at the, the plane flames. hit. Look at the flames coming out that's, of there. That's a live shot right now. That's the after. I mean, can you imagine what the other side of the building looks like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not even looking where, at that. That's where the plane was the coming through. The smoke now is the worse. The smoke now is worse than it was. Anybody on those upper floors could not survive No that. way. Uh, Sue, thank you. Uh, York. One of the concerns we had at that time was the possibility of that plane. This is Larry Johnson, State of Department official. Uh, flying it into one of the buildings. Um, so, you know, uh, my concern now is that, that there's always a, you know, we ignore terrorism. You know, we talk a lot about it, but we ignore taking very practical steps on security fronts until something like this happens. Oh and then the pendulum swings out to an extreme. You know, the next thing you hear are people talking about putting surface air missiles on top of buildings to prevent this kind of thing. This is a very rare event. It's unlikely to be repeated, but, and I think President Bush put his finger on it, we have to find who did this, and any country, any nation in the world that is in any way involved or responsible for Bomb the, the, the terror, living daylights out of them. Will require a response from the United States, and the United States has got to be willing to pay that price. Yep. Mr. Johnson, obviously, we're... Bomb the living daylights yep. out of him. Folks, I'm going to tell you something. You have your choice. That's why that whole Hiroshima situation... Let me tell you. You have your choice. Them or us, I don't have to think twice. Right. And, oh, that was terrible. What? What? You betcha it was terrible. But their attack on the Japanese, attack on us, was, right. it, it was... The lives that were saved through that... That's right. You got to send a message right. that we are the strongest nation in the world, and we will not tolerate we better it. Better start acting like it. You got to act that way. Yeah. You blow the living daylights out of them. I don't know. You is know, that, we're just people, that, and that's we're angry, and you're uh, yeah. and you react that way. But damn it, I'll that's, tell you right they now. Should. Right now, they assume. I mean, and they say they. You know what? Like Frank said earlier, we only get sixty percent of what they know, probably, or seventy percent of what right. they know. But they assume, all, all reports I heard last time when they were doing this expose on this Osama bin Laden is that he's hiding somewhere in the hills of Afghanistan. Yeah. And that the Afghanistan people don't want to give him up. Well, okay? then blow up blow Afghanistan. Exactly. Afghanistan. Let's start See beating you later. the piss out of Afghanistan let's until start they give over. the guy up. That's right. Somebody's <clears> going to give him up. Yep. And, and, and let's go to a few calls here. Some people have been hearing some things. Everybody's watching a different TV station or what have you. Uh, this is history, uh, and you can count on your hand the number of That's events right. that will take and have this a impact on, on, on this country oh. and on people. You, you, you look at the World Trade Center, the Oklahoma City bombing, uh, the, uh, the explosion of the, uh, of the, of the, the space shuttle. Yep. And I'm not just limiting it to, These are to lifetime terrorist events. attacks. Yes. The shooting of, uh, of Robert Kennedy, yep. John F. Kennedy, um, Martin, Luther, Martin King. Luther King. These are just Reagan. events that this has got to be one of, the, one of the most devastating. Well, there's kids that have been born since Oklahoma 
This is their first major. The first one, yeah. This Here's, is the first thing that they've actually seen like this. Each tower that says has 110 floors, so we're told. Here's uh, here's Ralph. Good morning, Ralph. Yeah, one of the upper channels there, CNN, said uh, early this morning a hija- uh, plane was hijacked out of Boston. An American Airlines 757 out of Boston headed for California was hijacked. They know that's one of them. Oh, oh so that's God. one of the ones that did it. Yeah, I feel sorry for the patients and all the families, and I'll be honest with you, I don't think this is the last of it. I think they're going to do something else. That's what I'm thinking, too. Who's to say in 10 minutes something's not going to happen out in California or Boston or another another plane popping into this thing to get it toppled over? Yep, yep. They claim they they think it was then, but another speculation said they think it was an Airbus on the first impact. An Airbus? What is? They're huge. A, that's that A20 that you're... I'm, yeah, I'm it, flying an Airbus to California next week to San Diego, and I heard they're huge. If, it, they if you're, talk, you're talking about uh, a movie projector in the center row, center row of like six to eight people, yes. side yes. rows of four oh. to six people, yes. you're huge. talking massive airplanes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Massive. That was, uh, Katie Kirk, I think, said it a little yeah. while ago. Ma- and and that, you could see when, when you saw that plane go into the, uh, into the Twin Tower there. Um, the second uh, one? The, the second... That was a well, huge we didn't airplane. See the first one, right? That we was a huge, yeah. huge think airplane. Think of all the people who witnessed it—the trauma that everybody else, even beyond who died yep. in, in the accident, is going to go through. It's, it's, it's massive. You're never going to top this, never. All right, uh, oh let's God. go to uh, let's go to Carl. Thank you, man, uh, Ralph. I appreciate it. Carl Keita, good morning. Hi, right, Bill. How you doing? Yeah, I was just calling. To come. You said the same oh. things I was uh, heard on from Katie Couric on NBC. That yeah. the Trade Center is 110 oh. floors t- uh, tall. 1,300 feet off the ground, and they figured the first one there is about two-thirds of the way up, the three-quarters, they said, and the other one is a little over halfway up is where they were hit. And they said that the first hit was an Airbus out of Boston heading for Los Angeles. Uh, it says here that all New York airports have been closed. Uh, New York Stock Exchange closed. The New York City, Manhattan has been sealed off. No one is allowed to leave or go field. in. Oh, really? Yeah. They closed the tunnel. The field. tunnels have all been closed. Yeah. They're as up two planes city. have crashed into the World Trade Center, and uh, they're now investigating, as Carl was just saying, uh, and Ralph earlier, that they're investigating uh, a hijacked airplane passenger uh, from large out of Boston. airplane out of Boston. That's the perfect. other one I had heard came out of JFK, right? Uh, yeah. But I don't know that that's necessarily the case. Yeah, they haven't confirmed that, that one yet. And if it was time. leaving, if it's leaving Boston for. California. Uh, California, that's a huge airplane. Yep. And, and it's the tanks full. Are full. Yep. And it is Carl, thank a you, man. full okay, airplane at this hour of the yep. morning. Yep. 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 On a Tuesday morning, it's on its way. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Uh, Linda has tried some New York City telephone numbers, and all numbers are busy. Disconnected. Yeah. Everything is busy in New Probably York City. Shut the phone lines. And out. I would imagine that the, at a, in a situation like this, they have a they have a some sort of a plan. Yeah. Uh, but what is it? You know, what does this make you? What does it make you? And when I, you know, we were just the other day talking about how it is a terrible shame that your rights, your freedoms that you have in this country, are slowly being driven away. But what freedoms are being driven away? The, the, it truly is, and, and and your freedoms will be little things where where you can search a vehicle and you can search based on on uh, <coughs> on, on, on on a fear of of something that looks shady. But um, is that a terrible thing? I, it is a terrible thing. It's a terrible thing because you're losing your rights. But there's no other choice that we have. So That's say, my the point. Arg- the argument, the there isn't an argument. Coin is, there isn't an argument. There isn't an argument at all. Well, it's sure that there is. It is. There's not an argument. you got to do it. I'll tell you what. Any cop can stop my car this afternoon and check it if he wants to. i got no problem with it. It's not my point. I'm not arguing with you is what I'm trying to tell you. I'm not arguing about it. I'm saying slowly but surely... What is going to happen is your rights to to move about this country the way you used to be able to move about this country. Those rights are withering away. Yep. And the reason they're going away is based on fear. Yeah. Well, and and I'm only saying that's a terrible thing. I'm not saying it's the wrong move. <laughs> I'm saying it's an awful thing. Yes. When you fly next week, go ahead and fly next week and see what that's going to be like. I'll tell you something. Have you ever had, if you've ever had the opportunity to fly on El Al, which is the Israeli airline, have you? Yeah, oh they boy. they do not put up with any. I mean, there are armed guards when you walk. Yep. Armed guards when you walk on the plane. There are armed guards that are on the plane. There are armed guards when you walk off the plane. But I'll tell you something. If you're flying anywhere in Europe, or unfortunately now, I'll guarantee. You, I'll bet you my life that these were not LL planes. 
I guarantee you, because they're, they're, it would never happen. There are some other uh, stories coming out that there's explosions everywhere. Let me take some lines, and we're talking explosion at the Pentagon, but again... I've not been able to confirm any of that yet. Below the World Trade Center towers has been evacuated. That is, of course, uh, the biggest single floor trading facility. Yeah, in the I, I, again, people are just calling with that. I don't know that that's necessarily true, so um, don't take that for anything yet. And I don't see CNN talking about it. David, good morning. Bill, hey, uh, Brian Gumbel saying, oh my God, oh my God, the, the smoke is billowing right out of the Pentagon. The Pentagon has been bombed. The Pentagon oh has my been God. bombed. You are absolutely right. It has happened. And a Palestinian group is claiming responsibility. Palestinian. Okay, so how right, soon do we switch, start bombing I'm going to switch to, uh, to uh, CBS here. I've carried out anything on this scale, but, but certainly haven't uh, carried out anything like this, uh, a terrorist activity like this. There is smoke years. bellowing However, from the Pentagon, very, folks. I'm cautious at this point about any telephone claims. Uh, once these events occur, what we've seen is, is two things. Uh, number one, in many cases, there is no. Go to CNN. Go to CNN. Point. This this is not. Thirty-two. Thirty-two. Uh, yeah. What was that, that shot? Was what different. was that shot? That's the and Pentagon we have these huge, is, enormous uh, explosions at the World Trade Center here in New York, where two planes slammed into the buildings. We are also getting reports now that there is a fire on the mall in Washington, that part of the Capitol that runs uh, essentially from the Capitol to the White House in kind of a straight line going uh, up Washington, D.C., and we have reports of a fire there. Uh, this, what you're looking at now is Washington, at least if I can see the monitor in front of me. It's a little tricky from where we are. That looks to me like the old executive office building, and then in back of it you see the large plume of smoke. Here in New York, uh, sirens everywhere, people out on the streets staring at this uh, grotesque scene of the All world. Right. We don't know what is going on in, uh, in Washington except that there's smoke bellowing. There is smoke there. bellowing from uh, somewhere near the Pentagon. Fire, CNN they're saying. saying fire. That at this point, they're saying some kind of fire at the Pentagon. Go somewhere else. See what else Well, they said fine. there's also a fire on the mall. Hi, 107. Which is a separate spot. Hi, Bill. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. I just want to say hi and see how you're doing. Okay. <laughs> What's going on? Have you been watching TV, Who's man? This? No, I have not. Okay. I'm at work. You okay. might want to. No, no, no. Jimmy? Everything's good, Jimmy. What happened? Nothing bad. <laughs> Everything's cool. <laughs> Okay. All right. Bye-bye. Things, things are good. Okay. So what's going on with you? Nothing. How are things uh, over at the restaurant? Very good. Cool. Can we still get the breakfast special over there? Yes. All right. We'll talk to you soon, man. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs> all of this, in the middle of all of this. C-SPAN may have Let's something on the Pentagon. Let's go to C-SPAN and see what they have. Well, what we're seeing and reading from the Associated Press and FBI investigators uh, no, come on. This guy sounds faggy. Yeah. <laughs> and Shut possibly uh, here in Washington, D.C. Okay, they're not ruling out an attack in Washington, D.C. Here's Cindy. Good morning, Cindy. Hi, I have MSNBC on. They just reported that the west wing of the White House is being evacuated. Oh, my Lord. Wow. Well, if, they're fi well, if the fire's they on the get... mall, the mall connects the yep. Capitol yep. building yep. to yep. the yep. White yep. House. Oh, okay. I'm not familiar with the layout. Not to mention, not to mention the fact that uh, we're going on red alert here right now, oh, people. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, yeah. it's it's red alert. It is. Kettles. You can. Uh, Bush, you know, Bush has I, been I've taken underground. Yeah. So many oh, yeah. of these terrorist attacks. But Bush for is some in Florida. Reason, when right. this one happened, it just hit me in the gut. To go. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, it, it, this is a this is a this is this is what we've always feared. Yep. But a hijacked passenger plane. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, you Two know that just multiplies it again. Amazing. Uh, truly just amazing. But try MSNBC. All right, we'll go there, too. All right. I'm just going to broadcast everybody's report. Okay, here's your Pentagon Reagan National Pentagon Airport report. in Washington is very close to the mall and to a whole series of major installations there. And we now have word that a plane has apparently crashed into the Pentagon oh, as well. Oh, God. President Bush Can has convened a meeting of the Security Council. He's planning to get to that immediately upon his return to Washington from Sarasota, Florida, where he has he been. This is an air attack. His education initiative. And they're using... Uh, the they're the using York, passenger planes, planes to do it. They're the using World Trade Center. Own people. The word we get is at least a thousand people have oh. been hurt and six are dead. Uh, it could be a lot. Oh, that's early, oh, man. That's back. early. There's Shortly your first before count. and after nine o'clock this morning, when a lot of New Yorkers are heading to work, uh, the good news could be that there would not would not be as many people in the building at the time as there might have been shortly thereafter. On the other hand, the workday does start early in New York City, especially in the financial district where the World Trade Center is. And 
and there could have been an awful lot of people en route to and from work beneath the towers. Now, the World Trade Center towers, the two big towers there, one and two, are 110 stories tall. They are surrounded by a very large plaza, which could easily have been full of people as well, not yeah. to mention, of course, the surrounding streets. Uh, so, the latest word we have is three plane crashes apparently deliberate into the World Trade Center towers and the Pentagon. A Palestinian group has claimed responsibility for the plane crashes into the World Trade Center. This is a group called the Democratic Front for the Liberation of Palestine. And, and this comes please, out of actually Abu Dhabi television. After this, uh, there shouldn't well be any more Palestine. Uh, yeah, I agree with that. that one of those you know what? Here's how you settle country. that whole mess over there. Yep. Blow them up. That's American right. We don't need that crap. En route from... All right, we're waiting to hear now. Okay, we have word from airports nationwide. The FAA has shut down all, all aircraft airports. takeoffs yeah. at all airports around the country. This is a co coming from the FAA. This has never all happened ever before. Never. Takeoffs at airports around the country have now been put on hold by the FAA. This after these three plane crashes, including one crash, which was apparently that of an American Airlines 767, which left Boston at 7.45 this morning, supposedly en route for California, apparently ended up crashing into the World Trade Center in New York instead. Witnesses did see the planes go crashing into the buildings, and actually it happened during live coverage here on Headline News. We saw the second of the planes hit the second of the towers in the World Trade Center. President Bush has called off his agenda for the day and is now en route back to Washington where he has convened a National Security Council meeting. Law enforcement officials now say both planes were planes hijacked from Boston. Uh, we had word of both out of Boston. Both of them. The FBI is calling this, uh, saying this was a probable Linda, pick that up, will you? Incident. Pick that up and see if there's somebody there that'll go on the air with us because it's ringing through to New York City. Very brief remarks this morning. He promised it would stand. He did yeah, go to an event that he was number. supposed to attend oh. this morning in Sarasota, Florida, for his education initiative and spoke to the school children, but only long enough to say that his prayers were with the people and he promised a full investigation. Hey, with all you have going on. All right, how did that just change? The channel just went to commercials. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> four. Okay, any back to NBC like now. Do you have any information that might be helpful to us? Well, not particular information on this tragedy, but... Uh, I don't know who they're talking to here. Tragedy. This is uh, James Callstrom, an FBI official. Well, listen, law enforcement, four. prior and law enforcement have, have talked for years, and the public has seen the hatred in the world. They've seen the bombing of the World Trade Center. They saw the conspiracy uh, to blow up the tunnels in the uh, United Nations and the FBI building back in the 90s. They've seen the, the bomb at the USS Cole and the, and the bombings of our embassies in Africa. So, I mean, we've known for some time now that this hatred exists. And, uh, and uh, now it looks like uh, that it's uh, culminated in this absolutely horrendous, incredible act uh, against the United States. Jim, as someone in who's, Washington who's today. I'm sorry, as someone who's investigated some of these crimes in the past, and when we think back to 1993 and the World Trade Center bombing and what it took in terms of coordination and planning to pull off that one bomb in the World Trade Center, can you even speculate as to what it might take to coordinate this, what we think so far is a three-pronged attack this morning? Uh, Matt, it, it, it obviously took a lot of coordination. Uh, there's a lot of groups in the world that uh, that have the ability to coordinate these types of attacks. Is this over? I mean, is this the end? Is this the last one at the I Pentagon? Don't think so let's oh, switch around and see what else we see. <clears throat> Here's uh, ABC's report. I beg your pardon. The one of the two aircraft which crashed into the twin trade towers just before and just after nine o'clock Eastern time this morning. There's the uh, president's uh, of Boston. Now he's we do not know the airline. Air Force One. We're not able absolutely to confirm that, but there are several reports, and there, and that led to the intense concern um, with the FAA and with oh, the National Intelligence Services. The, the all of the airspace um, in the general area of New York City, and now subsequently in Washington and everywhere else, be sealed as one would try to seal a building. Uh, in order to prevent a third or a third and fourth whatever uh, incident. That is Florida. That's the president taking off in Florida right there. Out of there. Brayton and Sarasota Airport. Yeah. Two. About 30 the miles, 35 miles south of Tampa. And as ABC's John Miller just reported a moment ago, um, the scene on the ground in New York City is still pretty chaotic. You know, I think when we, we talked about this the other day, and we got into this just a little, little while ago, and as soon as we find something more, we'll get it for you. Um, the uh, what I was, you know, through the drug, uh, through the war on drugs, it seems 
that slowly but surely the people, the rights that you have as, a, as an American citizen have been withering away. And I've been very against that because it's just based on fear. Yep. The problem comes in with this. Yep. Terrorism on our survival. This is, this is our survival. You now have to have, we have to go towards somewhat of a, uh, of a police state. Yep. And you have to end up to giving up ourselves. your rights to protect your right to actually live here and survive. And that is, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm saying it's simply a sad thing. Um, pretty sad, awful, terrible thing. Uh, I that, can't that we remember. We have to go through these things I in can't our lives. I remember lives. the last terrorist action, major terrorist action, that happened against this country that we truly, truly made the other, whoever we thought or found to be responsible, we pay. made them pay. Yeah. I mean, supposedly they've known since at least a day or two after the, the explosion aboard, aboard the USS Cole that it was this Osama bin Laden uh -huh. that financed the whole shooting match. Why haven't we found him? Are you telling me the CIA and the military cannot find this guy? Here's uh, Cindy. What do you have, Cindy? You guys have got to turn on MSNBC. What, they what just channel, is? channel is it? Four hijacked planes from Boston. Obviously, one is still missing. Oh, one's still up. What channel are, is it MSNBC I in Utica area? I can't tell you because I have a satellite. I can tell you okay. it's on mine. Yeah. MSNBC. I, I, I'd we were say on it in the 40s. Ago. It's in the higher. Yeah, I think it's in the higher 40s. They're saying there have been four that have been hijacked out of Boston. Correct. Out of and Logan Airport in Boston. The entire White House has been evacuated because they got a credible threat toward the presidential mansion and um, residence. Amazing. Well, I'm assuming now uh, that our, our there you military go. is you know in the all air. The planes are grounded. All right, we're going to switch over here now. Thank you, Cindy. Okay? Sure. Uh, let's go here. Large airliner, it plowed right into the Pentagon. There is billowing black smoke. Another course, airliner you see it into the, the Pentagon. Screen. One. No, 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 no. The first one. Uh, this is that. So three. now we're at three. Three and one is missing. This hour, uh, ambulances dispatched to the scene, firefighters, people are being treated in nearby hospitals. Let's look again at the videotape. As we were watching the first tower burn, here is the second plane, and Ooh. there is the explosion into the second tower of the world. If you're just getting into this, uh, it's happened uh, about an hour and a half ago. And a, uh, a plane went into and smashed into the uh, World Trade Center. 18 minutes later, another hijacked commercial airline out of Boston. Uh, and you saw that one live on television because they were already had cameras up on top of the uh, watching the Trade Center. Um, that that smashed in to about a little bit higher than the midway up the uh, up the building, in one of the uh, one of the twin towers. Now we've later found out that a commercial airline hijacked out of Boston has crashed into the Pentagon. That's three. And uh, the, the latest word is that four planes have been hijacked. One is not accounted for right now. Unbelievable. Emergency vehicles all throughout Manhattan, not only Midtown, but down near Chelsea now where I am, have been streaming by us at every every couple of uh, seconds in intervals. Ambulances are heading by me now. A lot of the vehicles are also unmarked, looking like FBI vehicles heading towards the World Trade Center as well. Not only that, but we stopped by one of the hospitals, St. Vincent, which has been cordoned off. I can only guess possibly waiting for victims to be caught northward up 7th Avenue. The traffic has also all been stopped heading south down 7th Avenue. I haven't had a chance to see any of the other north-south uh, thoroughfares, but I'm assuming that they are also tracked. Um, we were down in the uh, subway trying to try at least take the subway to get down downtown to the, to, the, to the Wall Street area and World Trade Center area. I'd like to know if there's anybody that has uh, family in New York City. They've been in touch with the people in New York City. I'd like to be able to contact somebody and talk to somebody oh, down there. I know what my cousin's doing. Do we? She's calling somebody right now. It's really quite bizarre. Passing through Times Square. Okay. Hundreds of people. I want, I want to see the pictures of the streets. Up at the television screens in Times Square and listening sick to what's going be. on and listening to the. What's that? The problem is. I want to see the pictures of the street. Yeah, you can't get to it. One second. They're probably not showing it because you can't get to it. Perez of WNBC. First, Marna Ringle. And Marna, you work across the street. Tell me exactly what you saw on the street and as you looked up. All right, we have. Hold on a second. We have somebody in New York City that saw it. Here's Amanda. Good morning, Amanda. Hi, how are you? Where are you? Um, I live down in the seaport. Okay. What did you see this morning? Well, I was. Uh, 
sorry, I'm just sitting here watching what's happening on the news. Yes. We don't know where to go right now. Uh -huh. um, we were in, I was in bed getting up around 9 o'clock, and I heard something, and I wasn't sure what it was. And I, then I heard sirens, and I went out and checked the TV. I thought it was old footage of the old attack. And yeah. I'm sitting there watching, I'm going, this isn't happening. And then all of a sudden I start hearing everything. And I run into my roommate's room, and she's like, this is happening right now. And we ran up onto our rooftop because we're about nine floors up. And we're so low down, and, of course, we're surrounded by Wall Street that we couldn't, we can't see the actual World Trade Center, but we're standing up there. Uh, hello? There goes her phone. There goes her phone line. We lost it. They said they were shutting down everything in the city. Uh, they have you're lucky shut you got down as her. much as you did. Try yeah. it again. Try it again, Linda. Uh, but I think they're shutting phone lines down. We just yep. had, that's Amanda. She is in New York City, and she did not, what she was about to tell us is that she didn't see the actual plane go in and the actual explosion, but she saw the plane coming down and then heard and saw the smoke and the explosion. Uh, now you're looking down. This Look is New York subways and airports are closed. That smoke Why seems to be smoke low, underneath? doesn't it? Let's listen in and see what they're getting here. Uh, but it went in, fireball came out, and it hit lower than the first uh, plane, which hit uh, the upper floors. Jim, thank you very much. At this point, as you can it tell, it does appear that there has been a third explosion in the area happened. of the World exactly Trade Center. Believe. There was first one this. plane that hit one top of the twin towers. Third explosion. A second plane, each about one Look at the size hour of that. ago, and now a third explosion. Ashley Banfield is in That's Manhattan. What took out that Ashley, woman's phone. did you see or hear anything just God. moments ago? Oh my God, Chris, this is incredible. Folks, what took out the telephone? Right at it. I'm what took out the telephone that we just had disconnected is an explosion that just occurred as we speak uh, on the left side. The at the time that it happened. On the ground? It's on the ground. I can't see that it's another building. It looks almost in the same same position as the second bomb or the second explosion. But it it oh my just God, it's caught just filling the city. It just caught the phone lines. Filling. The what next explosion the caught the phone lines. Yeah, are they running? Are no, they I'm running? No, I'm not close enough at this point to be seeing that. I, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be showered with debris from my position. Here. We are witnessing a national disaster. Side view of what's happening, and this is what the route that I'm on is the, is the emergency route right now. So all of the emergency vehicles are streaming past us. But as I was looking up, I saw the entire explosion. It looked exactly like the first two. We're unbelievable, and everyone who watched it around me screamed. We do not even know if it was an airplane. All we know is an explosion. Oh God, from everyone standing around. Moments ago, we were speaking with a woman named Amanda in New York City. What I'm hearing are a lot of people whose cars are parked who've got their radios tuned. To she was describing what had happened, and we heard a click, and her phone went dead. At the very same time, smoke began bellowing from near the Trade Center. What's that? One of the towers just collapsed. It's saying one of the towers has collapsed. I, I do not see the second tower, folks. You, well, the smoke is so bad you couldn't. But I do not but see that black, from dark smoke. Picture here, Ashley, uh, and our picture. Well, we've gotten it back, but there is a huge cloud of smoke virtually enveloping the downtown area of Manhattan. That is the Wall Street area. It's it is in the Battery the city. Park City, Lower Manhattan. A series now of three explosions, two planes. A first one flew into one tower of the twin towers. I don't see then it. A second, some minutes later, and I do not see ago, this, the second explosion tower in the area of the World Trade Center. In addition, let's bring you up to date. There was an explosion at one of the twin towers. Has collapsed. Yeah, that that's was what the explosion. It apparently has was collapsed. not a third independent explosion. It was not a bomb. It was not a plane. But there has been a collapse of one of the towers of the World Trade Center. You are talking about a 110-story building uh, on any given day. I can't day, tell you the, a, the death. A hundred thousand. I can't people begin to be describe the death that we're we're looking at here. Visiting uh, the World Trade the Center, girl, it is one of the most uh, visible the sites on the skyline of New York City. It is a main center of commerce. And there has apparently oh been a collapse of one of the two this, towers. Folks, could turn to be center. the greatest this disaster this country has ever seen. Tragedies ever to strike this country. One of the World Trade Centers, having been struck by a plane in an apparent terrorist attack, 
has now collapsed. collapsed. You are talking. Now, we don't know if that was another explosion that caused that. Seven foot su skyscraper. Well, that was the one that was hit the worst, the lowest. High. And judging by the debris and smoke that you are seeing there, it is Look, now it's abundantly clear the city. that the, the smoke reports is we are filling getting it. may well be true that one of the Twin Towers has collapsed. The no. other one continues to burn. The Pentagon also struck, apparently by a terrorist attack, another airplane. Uh, a very close friend of one of the sales uh, ladies down the hallway. Um, and she is uh, obviously, we were speaking with her at the time when the phone went dead. That is when the uh, the collapse or the, the, the next explosion occurred, whatever made that, uh, that collapse. Now, did she say how close she was to this? I, we're, we're trying to get the tape back to be able to listen to where she said that she was. I thought she said she was in the Chelsea section, which which would which is uh, on South Street, so it's all in that vicinity. You're all down in the Wall Street vicinity there. So if the tower collapsed, President Bush said earlier, it does appear that America has been the focus of apparent terrorist attacks. However, when you're talking about a series of coordinated attacks in New York and in Washington, D.C., there may be only one or two terrorist organizations with the kind of money and the Some organization and the aggressiveness to, to do this. something like this. And certainly one of the first places that the FBI will be looking right. at. We're going to go to some audio that I have here. We're going to Same repeat button. the, are, are you ready? Yep. What, what am I going to? Same one. Same button. And let's listen in here as just moments ago we were speaking with a woman uh, named Amanda in New York City. She lives on 85 South Street. She had witnessed it and she was describing it here as uh, Matt, I'm getting a, a feedback sound here uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. for some reason. Uh, we were speaking with her. Her line went dead. Let's listen in here. Right what took out the telephone that we just had disconnected. All right, go back, go back, go back. I, 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 right you'll have end. to go back. Get to the beginning of her because I want to hear where she said she was. Uh, the Trade Center Tower, one of them has now collapsed. We don't know if that is because of the initial impact or if it's because of another explosion that might have come in from underneath. We're going back a little bit further. We'll have audio for you uh, coming up in a second. Here's uh, Denise. We're going to switch with Denise, who's in New York City right now. Good morning, Denise. Hi. Where are you now? Um, I'm in uh, like 36th Street and 8th Ave. Okay. In New York. Uh, are you in a? Uh, are you in a? Uh, what kind of building are you in? Um, a normal, like I think so, uh, so office you, building. You're up uh, up near the uh, up, up in Midtown area. Yeah. So what is uh, what's happening for you right now in New York City? Not a lot. I mean, there's actually, but scary, there's nothing really going on on the streets. There's, like, nobody on the streets. I mean, there's, like, no cars on the streets. And usually now, it's, like, packed. Yeah. And, um... Well, New York City has been shut down. Well, she yeah, just, pretty she much. She said there's, everybody like, no was tunnels. told to stay in. Now, you're in, are you in a workplace there's, right now? Yes. All yes. right. What is the, uh, I mean, uh, obviously, this is a very scary scary situation for everybody. Yeah. Are you having smoke where you're at? No, we can't see anything from where we are. Oh. Remember Midtown, uh, you're, you're, you're in the York 30s, now. and then go down uh, all the way down to the uh, to, to near the tip of, uh, of Manhattan, gets right. down to the Wall see, Street section. Right, where it section. happened is close to where I live. Yeah. Oh, it is but close to where you live. gone when uh, it happened. You were already on your way to work. Yeah. All right, uh, have there been any uh, precautions given to you? Have you been told you can't leave? Well, there's pretty much nothing you can do if you do leave. You right. can't really go anywhere. Do you right. still have I mean, power? I don't even know if the subways are open. Yeah, the no, subways have been closed. closed. All the transportation has been closed down in New York City. Manhattan's right. been closed. You can't go anywhere. No, the tunnels <laughs> are closed, it. everything. So now you um, uh, you have electricity. There's nothing yeah. uh, with oh, that. Oh, yeah. yeah. There's nothing wrong with our building. Uh, but certainly makes you a little nervous about going outside. Yes, <laughs> and know? going home. Wow, look at that. Uh, and going home. Uh, yeah. You realize that one of the trade, the World Trade Center towers has collapsed. Yes. Um, and now there is only one. Yeah. Uh, I've never seen anything like this in my life. Yeah. All right, uh, Denise, thank you so much. We're going to keep your number handy, and we might call you back, okay? Okay. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, let's go now to the audio that we have. This was uh, speaking to Amanda. Uh, she has family here and was working and lives in New York City. Unbelievable. Emergency vehicles 
all throughout Manhattan, not only Midtown, but down near Chelsea now, I, where I am. This is beforehand? Every, this is about here? Every couple of uh, seconds, an interval. This is, um... Well, let's just keep listening. A lot of the vehicles are also unmarked, looking like FBI vehicles heading towards the World Trade Center as well. Not only that, but we stopped by one of the hospitals, St. Vincent, which has been cordoned off. I can only guess possibly waiting for victims to be caught northward up 7th Avenue. The traffic has also all been stopped heading south down 7th Avenue. I haven't had a chance to see any of the other north-south uh, thoroughfares, but I'm assuming that they are also tracked. Um, we were down in the uh, subway trying to try at least take the subway to get down downtown to the, to, the, to the Wall Street area and the World Trade Center area. I'd like to know if there's anybody that has uh, family in New York City, they've been in touch with the people in New York City. I'd like to be able to contact somebody and talk to somebody oh, down there. What my cousin's doing. Area, so most of the people in the subway were She's calling somebody right now. Either. This is the audio that we had uh, earlier, and in just a few moments we're going to speak to someone see the pictures of the named screen. Amanda. Television screen in Times Square and listening sick to what's going be. on and listening to the What's cousin. that? Wanna, the problem is... I want to see the pictures of the street. You, you can't get... Can you hold on one second? They're probably not showing it because you can't get to it. Perez of WNBC. First, Marna Ringel. And Marna, you work across the street. Tell me exactly what you saw on the street and as you looked up... All right, we have... You, hold on a second. We have somebody in New York City that saw it. Here's Amanda. Good morning, no, Amanda. Stop it just for a second. Hi. This is Amanda. This is the uh, lady that we spoke with earlier. Uh, you'll hear the phone disconnect. As the phone disconnects, that's when the World Trade Center collapsed. Let's hear where she says that she's from here. Listen in. Where are you? Um, I live down in the seaport. Okay. What did you see this morning? Well, I was... Uh, sorry, I'm just sitting here watching what's Stop it for a second. If she lives in the seaport... That is quite a distance away. Is it? I'm saying not, uh, uh, when I say quite a distance, we're not talking about the dif difference between Midtown and, uh, and, and right the right. seaport. But, but the building didn't hit The her. seaport is down in the Wall Street area. The tower is, is certainly away. Somebody had said her building had collapsed. That is not the, that's not the case here. But let's listen in. You're going to hear as the, as, the, as the Trade Center did collapse, uh, her phone is disconnected. Now, we don't know if that was an explosion that forced it to go down or if it just collapsed because of the impact it took from the airplane. Listen in. This is Amanda. Um, we were in, I was in bed getting up around 9 o'clock, and I heard something, and I wasn't sure what it was. And I, then I heard sirens, and I went out and checked the TV. I thought it was old footage of the old attack. And yeah. I'm sitting there watching, going, this isn't happening. And then all of a sudden I start hearing everything. And I run into my roommate's room, and she's like, this is happening right now. And we ran up onto our rooftop, because we're about nine floors up. And we're so low down, and of course we're surrounded by Wall Street that we couldn't, we can't see the actual World Trade Center, but we're standing up there. Okay. All right, there you heard the, uh, the disconnect, and it was gone. Uh, at that very moment is when the uh, is when the, uh, the the tower collapsed in New York City. Now uh, it's just ringing. Are you uh, getting dial a, tone? You're getting a dial tone. You get it. But she was in. If she's in the South Port, uh, the Seaport, uh, then she's quite a distance away. Uh, South Tower, the World Trade Center has collapsed. Let's rejoin MSNBC <laughs> here and get some audio from uh, what they have in the coverage. The White House has been evacuated after the Secret Service received a credible th threat of a terrorist attack against the presidential mansion and the residence. The President of the United States alerted to what happened immediately, got on a plane, and is on his way back aboard Air Force One to Washington, D.C. And the Pentagon has been evacuated. All flights in the United States have been stopped. Those planes that are in the air are to go to their destinations. No planes are allowed uh, to take off and to uh, New York City is essentially shut down. Uh, we want to go back over to Lester Holt, uh, who has been following the aviation aspects of this for us. Lester, what can you tell us? First of all, I'm just getting word from uh, NBC's Joe Johns on Capitol Hill reporting, and I'm going to emphasize the word possible, a possible explosion on one side of the Capitol. Tell me again the side he's reporting. Chris? A a possible the explosion on one side of the Capitol. Of the Capitol. This is a WRCK, Utica, Rome. Side of the Capitol, unconfirmed. While we try to confirm that, we have confirmed one of the airplanes involved in the Trade Center uh, explosions. American Airlines confirming 
Okay, we're also hearing uh, there are military jets now patrolling the D.C. area, presumably interceptors. American Airlines is confirming that its Flight 11 from Boston Logan to Los Angeles was involved in one of the World Trade Center explosions. That flight uh, was scheduled to leave Boston at 7.45 a.m., would have arrived in uh, Los Angeles at 11 o'clock local time in L.A. Flight 11 is scheduled to be a Boeing 767. That is a twin-aisled, wide-body airplane capable of holding as many as 250 oh people. Again, American Airlines confirming that one of its planes from Logan to LAX, Flight 11, was involved in one of the explosions we saw at the World Trade Center. We don't know if it's the one we have on video, the one where you actually see the plane uh, flying into the World Trade Center, but that's our first confirmation of a particular flight. Also, uh, there was word um, uh, U.S. officials with access to intelligence say it appears it was a third plane that hit the Pentagon. Now, I'm not clear if they're talking about the, the two of the World Trade Center than a third, but uh, in fact, they are now saying it was an airplane that struck the Pentagon, as you see in this picture here. Uh, we're still waiting. Any word from Joe Johns? All right, let's switch around and see if anybody's got something on the, uh, on the Capitol. Apparently... Uh, there has been a... Many people have never, can't remember. That's it NBC. Like one tower. It that's NBC. Uh, this is ABC. They're it's back to the Pentagon. Smaller than a small private aircraft and not as large as a commercial jet. It may have been a, a prop jet. Um, it may have been a jet, but it's a smaller version of the jets which so many people in so many middle-sized American cities are now accustomed to seeing. In terms of the realm of terrorism... Switch again. ...to be a real... Uh, <laughs> Going to uh, CBS. Who should not be here. The feeling was that there were threats against targets uh, overseas, but not here in the United States. They tell me, frankly, that uh, there is a, a road map, a blueprint, if you will, for precisely what happened today. Uh, and that was signed by Ramzi Youssef. This is the bomber who was involved in the World Trade Center originally and who had plans to hijack aircraft and uh, target buildings in the United States, uh, specifically the CIA. Uh, Mr. Youssef, of course, was captured by the FBI. He's incarcerated here in the United States. But this is precisely the game plan that was talked out some seven to eight years ago by terrorists against, uh, associated with Osama bin Laden. Uh, one note of concern here at the FBI already uh, is that their field office, Dan, in New York is located at 26th and Federal. That is very, very close to the World Trade Center. Uh, judging from the pictures here, my guess is that they have uh, probably been incapacitated themselves and they'll have to move elsewhere in the short term. Dan? Jim Stewart in our Washington Bureau. You, the top half of one World Trade Center uh, building has collapsed and portions of the building have fallen onto the street below. Now, uh, Mika Brzezinski is in uh, that part of Manhattan where the World Trade Centers are located. We pick up her eyewitness reports now. Mika? Dan, with the collapse now that we witnessed here uh, firsthand, you get a sense there of the, not only the, uh, the chaos that is here on the streets of what happened with the two planes that hit the World Trade Towers, but also the depth of the disaster and the loss here of life. I'm sitting here huddled in a small room in PS89 right near the scene where uh, this school actually has been evacuated. Let's, right go, uh, let's go back to uh, MSNBC. Yeah, I think that's... Hold on, what was that again? 59. Go back to facts. There seems to be a... Over here. I live at 25 Lawn Street. Couple there at the tower. Here. Let's get out of there. Let's go back to uh, MSNBC. Corner. On the liquor store. Uh, uh, one tower. Who's oh, factory director to the building? This is the oh, first This is Fox the News. Point. Can you go to MSNBC? Here we go. Gordon off or close the roads, but they really haven't had a chance to do that. Because this is back in, with the, at the, the White House uh, themselves in Washington. Uh, I am told that most of the schools and most of the buildings in this area, even within like a 10-block radius, have also been closed, and people are being told essentially to try and get out of the area as carefully as they possibly can. I heard I heard noises out there now. What sounded like a megaphone. I'm not concerned. I'm not confirming that that's what I hear, but it's the word like is that the Capitol building audio device to try and. Uh, Rick, I'm going to interrupt you for a second. And this is where we're going to get it now. That you are watching uh, live yeah. NBC News coverage of a series of attacks that have targeted Washington, D.C. and New York City, the Trade Center. This is uh, in New York. This is taped just in, uh, turned around uh, from ground level of the Pentagon, where apparently another plane 
plane has been driven uh, into part of the Pentagon. We have no casualty figures right now, but you can see the steady stream of people uh, leaving the Pentagon, evacuating. As you may well know, the Pentagon is a series of rings inside rings inside rings, uh, a huge building, and an enormous number of people to evacuate. This attack uh, occurring after 9 o'clock East Coast time, so folks were clearly uh, at their desk at work at the Pentagon when this occurred. Uh, back to the situation in New York right now. We have on the telephone with us Will Femia. He is with MSNBC.com, our web partner. Uh, Will, can you tell me what you have seen and, and describe what's going on now? Well, Femi, what I got to tell you, as you look at the uh, at the New York City skyline, you're looking at the Empire State Building to the left. You see the World Trade Center to the right. You see the Twin Towers. And Frank, what are you what are you looking at? There's only one. There's only one tower. That's disgusting. There's only one. You know what I'm trying to? You know they keep replaying the uh, the tape of the second plane hitting. Yeah. Let's say this is the first tower here. It yeah. Is. Okay. Now that's already damage uh -huh. from one. So did the one tower get hit by? Did the one plane, the second plane, hit both towers? No. No. It did he try to clip it, both? He that's clipped it at the corner. As you're seeing, what we're yeah. seeing is it come out the other corner. This is one building. This is one building, and there's this a building right, right behind it. The other building. Beside and behind from that. From oh, that okay, point. okay. Um, all right, and uh, uh, my God, my CNN, God. CNN reports that uh, the Capitol building. There is a fire at the Capitol building. Turned and Thirty-two we're like running, CNN. Screaming. Let's go to CNN because they seem to be a little uh, more on the Washington side. It, uh, CNN's David Ensor joins us from Washington. David, where in the Capitol are you now? Well, Aaron, I'm, uh, I'm in our bureau, but I have on the telephone with me uh, Barbara, who is the wife of a friend of mine and who is an eyewitness to exactly what happened uh, at the Pentagon. Oh, Barbara, uh, can you hear me all right? Can you, yes, uh, I can hear you. Well, what exactly did you see? Uh, let's look at the Pentagon now as, as you describe uh, what exactly happened at the Pentagon this morning. As we were driving into town on 395, there was an exit. We were trying to get off the exit for the Memorial Bridge. Off to the left-hand side was a commercial plane that came in and was coming too fast and too low. And the next thing we saw was it go down below the side of the road, and we just saw the fire that came up after that. How large was the explosion? Uh, it was large. Was there sound as well? Um, that I can't, can't verify because windows were up in the vehicle. Do you realize the, what happened? With, with what has occurred here, the president is in, in Florida. Yes. Imagine who might be in the Pentagon. And I'm not Just sure. imagine who might have been in and... Secretary Cheney, uh, Vice President Vice Cheney, President could be well Secretary Powell could be in there, Colin Powell, uh, uh, defense, sure. uh, defense consultant there, that Condoleezza Rice. When it was coming down, yeah. it, it, it was coming down on uh, uh, less than a 45 degree angle and coming down to the side of the... Um, We're looking at smoke bellowing from the Pentagon. And when it came down, it just missed the 395 and went down below it, and then you saw the, the, boom, the um, fire come up from it. Were you able to see what kind of plane or what, what airline it belonged to? No, I did not see what kind of an airline. I just assumed because it was, we were so close to the airport, it was coming in to land. But it seemed awfully low to you. Yes, and fast. How big was the fireball? Um, Big. <laughs> well, you know what it is. You know what it is. He doesn't have anywhere else to go. Yeah. So what do you he's. Think what's happening? Um, I know that 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 hit the ground and exploded. Were you frightened yourself? Yes. Oh no, she yes, was happy. Everybody stopped the cars. And Matter of fact, she was saying, "Ooh, so doggy, everything's good." Yeah. Well, yeah. Thank you very much. Take off. Thank yes. You for talking to us, Aaron. Back to you, David. Thank you. CNN's David Ensor in Washington. CNN's Brian Palmer joins us on the phone yeah, from here shot. in Manhattan. Brian. Why don't you begin by telling me where you are? We are in front of the criminal courthouse after being pushed north slightly. We watched one of the towers of uh, the World Trade Center disappear from the skyline. It basically folded into itself in a plume of gray smoke. A crowd of thousands of people dashed up Broadway, followed by emergency services personnel. Um, that's all we know now. We're watching the plume of smoke uh, and debris just sort of waft. Um, Lost across uh, Lower Manhattan, and people are lining up at this payphone behind me, trying to find out uh, whether their relatives are safe. Well, let me just briefly go to Randy. Randy, just look out there. 
And tell me what you're thinking when you see what now appears that at least part of one of the landmark buildings in this city, one of the most recognizable buildings in the country, is gone. It's the kind of moment you hope will never come. Uh, when you have been in government, when you care as much about this city and this country as a mayor like The uh, Observer uh, Dispatch has announced that gonna, they're going to have a uh, special edition this afternoon at 3 o'clock. Uh, that will be out and available on, uh, uh, at 3 o'clock. Here's, uh, here's David. Good morning, Dave. So, uh, Dan Rather just saying that there's another airline in the air that's been hijacked. Yeah, that's what we. Uh, that's the last report that we had. There were actually total four, of four four planes that were hijacked. Right. Let's switch to them right now and see what we get. Four so planes they, hijacked. Three accounted for. One still missing. That's right. There could be another attack, feet, like on the White House. 110 stories. As Mika Brzezinski reported a few minutes ago, 50,000 people work in these Twin Towers, and we're talking about things from brokerage firms. You know, how would you like to be put in the position of the U.S. military right now, uh, with a commercial airline? <coughs> Uh, you got to shoot it down. You've got to shoot it down. Yeah. You have to shoot it down. Yeah, but what if it's over New York City again? I mean, yeah. think of you got to shoot life. it down. Yeah. You must make it disappear. Yeah. I uh, suppose it's probably less chance of killing people by shooting it down than letting it run into another building, right? I, I don't know. Have we ever been in a position in this nation where we had to? This is movie crap, folks. This is in the uh, movies. Yeah. Have we ever been in a position in this nation where we had to? Uh, destroy life to save the masses. I don't think so. They said that we have never been under this kind of attack since Pearl Harbor, and then before that, it wasn't since the War of 1812 when the White House was actually attacked. It is. Uh, it is 1812 because the continental U.S. has never been under attack like this ever. Right. Uh, since eight, since the the 1800s. You know what's amazing is 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 we caught it live. I mean, just. Just, I would have never even had the TV on had I not heard you talk about it. Yeah. It was just all right there for us to see, witness live. Incredible. Pretty amazing. I appreciate yep. the, uh, the up there. See you later, Bill. There, Dave. Let's Thanks, go. Uh, this is, uh, I believe, CBS. Mika Brzezinski earlier reported that she saw uh, uh, people uh, literally running out of their shoes, or I think it was Harold Dow uh, who, who reported that. Let me pause and say that a car bomb has exploded outside the State Department uh, okay. in Washington. So in Washington, uh, something has hit the Pentagon. Witnesses say they believe an aircraft crashed into the Pentagon, a portion of the Pentagon, and there have been injuries there. Now a car bomb has exploded outside the State this Department in all Washington. Day. Yep. No further details available on that. Uh, most international air flights scheduled to come in the United States are being diverted to Canada. The FAA has asked that no aircraft be in the air anywhere in the United States, if possible, what amounts to an air uh, travel lockdown in the United States, as the country is obviously under a concerted uh, attack of, of some kind, certainly not the whole country, but selected targets, the World Trade Center, Twin Towers, the Pentagon, now a car bomb outside the State Department. It's what's being called a well-orchestrated orgy of terrorism. Uh, it's filled the skies uh, here in Manhattan uh, with black smoke and flames, and a portion, at least a portion, of one of the World Trade Center buildings uh, has collapsed. I repeat for emphasis that the Associated Press, very reliable, perhaps the world's most reliable of uh, wire service, says... What, what do you have? I, um, my collapsed. sister works in Arlington, Virginia. My brother-in-law works in D.C. I'm unable to get a hold of my brother-in-law. It just ring, rings busy. Yeah. My sister-in-law, I did leave her a message for her to call me back. She lives, or she works just outside the city in Arlington. So I'm waiting for a call back from her. Unclear. There have been injuries at the Pentagon. Certainly injuries at the World Trade Center. It's difficult. I, I don't think I, I, I'm. I'm. Uh, I, you don't know what to say. With it's a little like numbing. Yeah, it really is. Uh, that some people were. Because this is so much worse than we've ever seen World before. World Trade Center. We go now to Washington, CBS News correspondent Cheryl what Atkinson. Was, Cheryl? What I saw regarding the Pentagon this the morning fourth? around 945, headed on the George Washington Parkway, which as you know borders the Potomac River on the Virginia side, listening to CBS radio as to what was happening in New York. And I immediately thought about the uh, Washington Monument and the White House, of course, which are always considered possible terrorist targets. And before me in the direction of the Pentagon came up a huge, huge white and black plume of smoke that within just a couple of minutes filled the entire sky in that direction. I tried to use the cell phone to call the uh, office to report what I was seeing, but cell phone usage was apparently maxed out and it was impossible to get through. People were pulling off to the side of the road, some of them 
appeared to be nervous to be crossing the bridges over into Washington, D.C., which is what a lot of that traffic along the parkway is doing that time of morning. I didn't see a plane. It must have obviously, if there was one, been flying very, very low before it hit the Pentagon. Didn't hear the noise, even though really I was probably within about a mile of the building. All right, what we're having, uh, we're here at, uh, that we, we have, there's a plane that uh, crashed into one of the uh, Twin Towers, World Trade Center. Another one uh, crashed into the other. Uh, the Twin Tower, uh, the, one of them actually collapsed. Uh, there have been, uh, there was a plane that went into the Pentagon, a, uh, another commercial uh, plane went into the Pentagon, a car bomb has gone off at the State Department, there is word that at the Pentagon, uh, National Security Corps, we're going to go to, uh, to Washington in a second here, another uh, word is that at the uh, Capitol building there is uh, smoke coming from the Capitol building. Uh, let us now go to CBS so here. So far, seen about uh, perhaps uh, 10 or 12 people who were injured, some of them seriously enough to require... Oh, we're going to interrupt you, David Martin, and come back here to New York because the second tower in the World Trade it's Center collapsed. is teetering and looks like it may gonna... uh, oh, it my God. be in the process of collapsing. The second World you Trade Center it. tower just had another explosion. Or did it happen of, again? Uh, there was another explosion. explosion. And... But you can't find the thing in the smoke. Area adjacent to them. Okay. Unfortunately, Peter Jennings sounds like he's calling a golf game. Yeah. Uh, try MSNBC. Our Lady of Liberty. Uh, 52. To the okay. World Trade Center itself. That is a good shot. Leave it right there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a shot of the World Trade Center right now. That doesn't Watch look, this videotape of the World Trade Center Watch Tower. This. You're going to see it disappear. This is oh my the God. first one. This is tape. There it goes. That's the first one that got hit. Another explosion. Oh, it's it's and like it it's collapsed. imploding. No, that's the second one. No, that's, the that's the second. No, that's, that's the, the second, second because that's that the had the that, that had the radio hit. antenna on it. That it was the, the first one that was hit. Yes. The second one to collapse. Right. Oh. Both trade centers. Have there was collapsed. a radio program going the on. World in there. Trade Center Both Tower there. in New have York collapsed. Sorry. Collapsing. I've never seen anything like this in my life. <laughs> This is absolutely a catastrophe on the tip of Manhattan. There, TBS is showing a shot right now of the uh, of the Statue of Liberty, looking so small and uh, looking so meek in a in a cloud of 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 just smoke from the tip of uh, Manhattan. Just from engulfed the tip of in smoke. Engulfed in smoke. If you are in Manhattan. Can I hear? Uh, this? You can't hear this. <laughs> if you're anyone that is at the lower part of Manhattan is just bellowed in smoke. You cannot even see inside. Visibility would be near zero. And never in my life I've seen anything like this occur, ever. None of us have. I this just is absolutely can't incredible. Even, uh, I can't even believe it. I can't take, I, I can't take anybody. Uh, just shut that door up. I mean, we can munch it, but I can't take anything. you got to cancel everything that we had. Planned. This is just, uh, this is the most, uh, look at that building. Go down How many playing people? It. You can't even, the people that were trapped in that building, anyone in that building now is, uh, well, both of them. Gone. Uh, both have, and it, it looked, they looked as if they imploded. Yeah. As if there was another explosion. We don't know what might have caused it. There might have been another explosion. Yeah. Let's listen in here. There's an eyewitness who saw this happen. Sir, if you were there, uh, please come in and identify yourself to us, please. Sustain. Sir, it's Dan Rather. Uh, if you can identify yourself and tell us what you saw, please. Uh, my name is Ron Oxenstein. I was, I, I, the building I work in faces the World Trade. At about 8.30, I heard an explosion, ran to the building, saw fire and smoke and everything coming out. Then all of a sudden, just see like, saw two bodies flying out of the windows. A couple of minutes later, about 20 minutes later, I was watching out, and the second explosion was like a fireball came out. And at that point, we just evacuated the building, ran down. And as we were running, just now you see it's like the second tower collapsed. It's just incredible. Uh, pretty amazing. We'll uh, break here and come back. We'll stay on uh, just because I don't know what else the hell to do. It's uh, 1031. Call 736-7780. Don't miss this opportunity. Call today. 736-7780.
This is Keeler in the Morning, 107 WRCK. <clears throat> All right, we're, uh, you can bring the audio down. Can we bring the audio back into the system here? Um, they say that the, uh, the, the other plane that was hijacked the fourth. is en route to Washington right now. Uh, let's take a couple of uh, calls. Here's Brett. Brett, good morning. Morning. What's, uh, what do you say, Brett? Well, I was just thinking about it. Why'd they pick today? Now, I don't, I don't, I don't have know. The, the history of everything that's happened today, but the only thing I could think of is today's the 11th of September. Yeah. And? 911. Oh, my oh God. My God. Uh, now, there might be something else that's happened and some other reason they picked today, but that just seems like. Uh, water. Uh, all right. It'll well, be one way to remember the date. Hold on. I'm going to switch now here. Actually, hold on looks a second. Like it could have been very much worse indeed. Had the airplane hit in a more central area of that uh, of that building, so we're now watching, of course, the Capitol building with considerable urgency. It's uh, right out the window of our of our bureau here. Uh, Thank you, Brad. Because as okay. Brian Wilson reported, police on Capitol Hill are evacuating the place, saying that there was airplane an airplane 20 minutes away. You know, apparently, or they be had reason to believe that it was headed this way. Now we know their jets have been scrambled and have been in the air. It is hard to know whether a plane would ever be allowed to get close to Washington, D.C. in the air with all the uh, airports closed at the moment or not. But uh, that obviously is something we're watching. What are they going to be doing with the planes that are already in the air and have no they're, place to land? They're, 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 they're allowing planes to land, and if the they can't Somerset land County at their airport, destination, they're going sending them to Canada about 80 miles if they're able to make it to Canada. of Pittsburgh. We're trying to deal with only facts today and not rumors. I hate to say this, but did that plane fly over us? Around, but we do have a <laughs> going from Boston to Washington. Oh yeah, he probably did. Plane well, crash. Probably went down the coast. Well, no, it came down the coast. Southeast of Pittsburgh. Yeah, also have hold to on, hold on. To assume that it's related to all of these goings on, but uh, we don't know any more Another information plane crash. than that. Rick Leventhal, we are glad well, to know is Pittsburgh. still with us uh, in Lower Manhattan. Rick. Yeah, John, um, we just, we, we basically ran about five blocks down Church Street uh, north, away from the World Trade Center, uh, as that second tower was collapsing. Uh, a similar scene to the first one, where huge clouds of smoke began, began billowing down the street at us. Uh, and in fact, because of the location of the tower, it actually came down cross streets. So as we were running north on Church, we were passing cross streets, and the, the black clouds of debris and smoke were we're coming towards us down the side streets as well. So we were about five blocks, uh, we're about Got five, that. six blocks north of where we were before. Things have settled down a bit now. The, the, the smoke is starting to clear. Um, we've seen more injured coming our way, and there's a lot of uh, police activity on the street. Um, but a similar scene to what we saw earlier as the first tower collapsed, uh, only this time uh, people were ready for it or more ready for it and uh, reacted swiftly, John. All right, uh, Rick Leventhal, thanks very much. I will. Again, there is so much going on, it's difficult to update you. I'll bet you that uh, uh, the terrorist that's aboard now, mm -hmm. I bet you that terrorist is flying the plane. Over lower Manhattan. Because if going from Boston to Washington, knowing what's going on, and you have to yeah. assume they know what's going on, <laughs> You're right. you have to assume that that pilot would try to ditch the plane prior to getting uh -huh. to Washington, You're right. preferably in an unpopulated area, maybe in the agricultural area, farming and area hope that in you Pennsylvania. Don't. Now, well, that's an interesting thing because they're saying that there is a plane crash south of Pittsburgh, uh, which could be re related in some way. It was hijacked, and apparently one of that, uh, that plane was one of the two uh, that slammed into one of the World Trade Center towers. Uh, we don't know anything more about the loss of life, but it is going to be considerable. Probably David incredible. Schuster is with us now, again, uh, not far <laughs> from the Pentagon. David? Well, John, I'm actually inside the Pentagon in our office at the Outer Ring, and again, we can confirm for you that intelligence sources are telling us that it was a U.S. Air 737 uh, that crashed into the south end of the Pentagon at approximately 9.40 this morning. The Pentagon has been evacuated, but we do want to point out that at parts of the Pentagon, key personnel are still here, including the National uh, Military Command Center. This is in the basement of the Pentagon, in an extreme, uh, sort of a bunker-type 
of a facility that uh, is essentially designed to withstand direct uh, attacks on the Pentagon. And uh, we're told that officials there uh, are still in that particular part of the Pentagon are coordinating any possible U.S. response, as well as trying to gather intelligence information, counterintelligence information, and essentially act as a clearinghouse from all the various intelligence agencies in Washington. Uh, there have been reports of uh, cautions, precautions being taken at the Central Intelligence Agency in McLean, Virginia, at the National Security Agency. But again, here at the Pentagon, right, let's switch around. Pentagon, one of the uh, one of the things that we can do for you here on the radio is kind of switch around and see what because everybody seems to report something different. And everybody seems to get the scoop on something else. Part of the Pentagon mm -hmm. itself, as you take a look at the pictures there. The Pentagon, it says, is now monitoring the second suspected to hijacked plane. It, it gets a little, a little nervous uh, where we are. Um, whatever is happening and whoever is responsible, we have no way of knowing if it's played out yet or if it's just going on. So every time we hear a plane go by, we wonder what the situation is and right. where it is. That's how we're, we're told by a person here, they believe that is a, a fighter jet. Federal office buildings around the country, is that correct? All over the country have been closed or just in Washington? Well, we, um, we were not allowed into um, the, fe uh, the federal courthouse here where CNN maintains a workspace. The officers just said we are... We're not allowing you in. I think that's a security pro precaution. Got it. Uh, stay with me a little bit. All federal office buildings now, all federal office buildings in Washington, D.C. Uh, are being evacuated as we speak to you now. Um, there are a variety of reports, and it's important to try and, uh, and uh, put this in some kind of order. But the, the most important things to tell you if you're just joined in is that a, what has all the makings of a an extraordinary, extraordinarily well-planned terrorist attack on both Washington and New York has taken place this morning. The trade centers here in New York, the two World Trade Center towers have collapsed after being hit by a plane. Uh, Maria Hinosa joins us on the phone. She is uh, in New York, uh, down uh, near the building. Maria, what can you tell us? Well, I'm actually at St. Vincent's Hospital right now. Switch a little where, more around here. Uh, this is a CNN. Let's try uh, MSNBC. First explosion. They started seeing patients here. What I'm hearing... Smoke bellowing from the, uh, from the Pentagon building. Uh, you saw here, there was an enormous dust cloud that came up this broad boulevard here in the moments after that tower collapsed. We're going to cut away from uh, uh, Pat Dawson on uh, the west side of the Trade Towers. NBC's Rick Sanchez joins us on the phone. He's also in Lower Manhattan. Rick, what do you got? Well, here's the most desperate situation for these people. I just had five firefighters come to me, many of them in tears because they've lost so many of their fellow firefighters. And one of them, as I was listening, had his radio on Lester. And you could literally hear firefighters that are still trapped in all that rubble uh, crying, uh, saying things like, get me out, someone get to me. Uh, the, 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 the sense here is that there are still people somehow in that rubble. Some of them may be firefighters, uh, as well as some of the other yeah, office yeah, workers who plane. usually work in that yeah, building. The, uh, the firefighters, are you, as you might imagine, are extremely desperate <laughs> about this situation. People that Rick, work uh, with Rick, We may have something on the airplane. No information on the situation in Pittsburgh. Let me read directly off the Associated Press. Uh, a large plane crashed uh, uh, just north of the Somerset County. The airport 80 miles southeast of Pittsburgh. The plane, I just lost it on my screen, believed to be a, uh, uh, yeah, I've lost it on my screen, believed to be a 767 is what uh, I think I read there. But again, um, uh, let's see, Kim's bringing me more information. Here it is. All right, uh, believed to be a 767 crashed about 10 o'clock Eastern time, eight miles west of Jennerstown. Uh, according to 911 dispatchers, we don't know the airline, but again, <clears throat> here's a look at a Boeing 767. This is a big airplane. In fact, this is a 400 model. You're looking at the... the, the you know, I wonder if uh, this, this airplane that went down <clears throat> in western Pennsylvania, uh, if that had something to do with it, what uh, would have caused that plane to go down? Could it have been a fight in the cockpit? Um, uh, God knows. Yeah. There could have been could some real been. Her be been. heroic actions yeah. done on that airplane that, that we may never know about. Washington to New York and now to Pennsylvania in what appear to be a series of coordinated terrorist attacks. You're looking at a live picture of Lower Manhattan, and no longer do we see the World Trade Centers both hit uh, uh, by airplanes. Uh, here is one of those that we saw live. There it is highlighted, what appeared to be another 767 that crashed into one of the towers directly through, uh, obviously flown 
thrown directly and purposefully into the Trade Center. Let's go back to Greg and Chris now. You are watching NBC News coverage here on MSNBC. This is Greg Jarrett. Let me summarize if you are just now joining us. It is a horrific sequence of destruction. Terrorists, apparently, crashing two planes into both towers of the World Trade Center. And about an hour later, both of the Twin Towers, 110 stories tall, collapsed. Explosions uh, rocked the Pentagon as well. Apparently, a hijacked plane crashed into the Pentagon. Watch that shot. And here you see the, the building uh, collapsed. The Twin Towers. Right there. Earlier, and we're going to watch <clears throat> tragedy unfold as one of the towers collapses. And there you see it. Both towers have now collapsed. And watch this shot. Look at that shot. The fate of those inside not immediately known. They had been trying to evacuate. The 50,000 people who work in the if, Twin if Towers, you have but many 50, thought to have been trapped inside. 50,000 people inside the World Trade Center. He was standing around a group of firefighters, and they were hearing on their radios <clears throat> firefighters. They believe the voices of firefighters, but perhaps others on their radios, trapped and calling for help. Rick Sanchez remains on the phone with us. Rick, what can you tell us? Well, the scene here, as you might imagine, Chris, is uh, one of desperation. There are uh, now uh, firefighters as well as ambulance workers and rescue officials uh, lining uh, the streets all the way to uh, Canal. Uh, the smoke uh, is starting to clear somewhat, although you can uh, still see it. People are still running from the scene, although uh, it seems like that sense of uh, people running has uh, stopped somewhat. Not as many people are <coughs> moving uh, from the scene as we speak. Ambulances are now uh, lined up as well, all the way down as far as they can get from Canal to uh, the area of uh, where both buildings once stood. Joining me here is Tito Castellanos. He was inside the building at the time of the explosion. Uh, Chris, uh, I'm going to let him explain to you what what he saw what he experienced hello hi what can you tell us about where you were yes, and, and what I, you saw I and heard the, i was at the subway station and uh, my ticket stub says 8 45 a.m <clears throat> and uh, as i was waiting for the train to come we heard the explosion a lot of debris fell on on us you know like dust type of particles and stuff like that and then automatically they started to tell us to evacuate through another exit so finally, we uh, were able to get out. We come to the sidewalk on the scene there. I saw a lot of debris and smoke on the street and sidewalk, and the cops on the other side of the street were telling us to hold on because there was still a lot of uh, debris falling from the building that was burning, actually. As uh, all this rain of uh, bricks and glass and stuff that was coming down stopped, we uh, were told to go on, but the people behind us were panicking and they started to push us into the street. Finally, I got to the corner of, of, uh, of the street and I looked up and that's when the second airplane, I saw it coming on the horizon and make a, like a small nose dive and boom, hit the second building, the one that's uh, facing the uh, south part. Anyway, at that moment, everybody panicked, started to run away. I was under a, a, a debris of hot metal. Excuse me. I was in the building because I was driving a friend. No one worried for her safety. She works in the U.S. Customs. I pray for her to be all right. I was injured in my leg, and I had my hip almost dislocated because I had a hip replacement a year ago. Uh, they... Sorry, I'm pretty shaky right now. We'll uh, switch around a little bit. Um, they have now said that they're... Uh... <clears throat> that in London, they are closing buildings in London now uh, due to um, due to this and the fear that they will receive the same type of attack. Um, we're now going to switch all federal office buildings evacuated in Washington. We're now going to switch here now. This is CNN. It's on the street. People running from the uh, collapse of the World Trade Center. workers from the scene. There's a there's a haze everywhere. It's very very difficult to see, but there has been a the whole area has been covered by soot and ash. 
I said, it looks almost like snow. So as people are coming up the street, running from the scene of the snow. Watching that building. You can see them slipping on the, on the uh, ash. And, and literally having to drag each other up the street. What we're watching right here is watching that f the, the Trade Center and collapse and the people just running from the debris. Entirely after spending the last hour or so just watching this from afar. Rose, stay with us. Terrific work. Let me throw uh, another couple Terrific of work. information. <laughs> Just so you know, that really puts it into perspective for a reporter. Terrific work. Nice job. We'll come back to you. Uh, it really does put it into perspective. They're out doing their job, and their job is to capture the misery. Is in, uh, this is election day, a primary <laughs> election for mayor and city council races here in New York. That election has been postponed until further notice. Um, Obviously, we are we are in the middle of an extraordinary catastrophe. It started about 8:45 Eastern Let's uh, switch around. New York. This one, guy's one an idiot. Plane <coughs> crashed. Nice job, Tracy. We'll continue See if you can get us next calls. time. Fort Eustis, Virginia. Good morning. Hi. Yeah, I'm just um for the people who have been talking this morning about the election and who they thought who they thought should have won the presidency and everything. I just think that these people <clears throat> should need to, you know, they need... Well, you were talking about this, Frank, what you're feeling. Now, tomorrow, they're going to be... You know, I don't think that'll be the case. Uh, where your feeling is tomorrow it's going to be an anti-Bush uh, Bush deal. I think, yeah. <clears throat> Maybe there'll be some of that, but when you find that in this country, when, when, when the tragedy and our freedoms and our nation's security is at stake, I think that the, uh, the partisan lines... Uh, uh, I know everybody tends kind to, of dissipating. Everybody tends to go together, but I I think what's going to happen is that obviously tonight <clears throat> President Bush is going to be on TV. He's going to be saying that we should not act hastily. We have to investigate. We have to make sure who the perpetrators are and bring them to justice because this country won't stand. And you're going to have people <clears throat> tomorrow screaming from the hilltops that he's not acting decisively enough. That he's not acting. <clears throat> forcefully enough um, I just I mean I agree with you normally in this country during times of, of national panic I mean we tend to rally behind the guy who's who's sitting in the White House but uh, you know something tells me that in an attack of this magnitude I really and truly believe that um, there are gonna be people tomorrow they're gonna be screaming for Bush to do something <clears throat> and we aren't gonna do anything tomorrow uh, we have, uh, well, you know, and you really, uh, we really can't, hold on, there's more. Let's go to uh, WCBS. Above the Fox News headquarters, 47th Street, between <clears throat> 7th Avenue or Broadway and 6th Avenue, on a spectacular day in Manhattan. And right over my right shoulder is the spot where the World Trade Center stood just a couple of hours ago. Uh, our engineer, Peter Blanchard 40, was standing here on top of this building, uh, <clears throat> arranging to have this live broadcast set up when the World Trade Center just just started to collapse. Uh, Peter, which side went first? Yeah, let's go uh, beyond this. This is all rehash. Uh, one closest to the Verizon. We'll do a little rehash in a second. And, um, uh, this one hostage uh, situation in terms of the plane being hijacked. Uh, but they were scrambling just as we are, trying to get additional communication, trying to get additional information. And that's one of the problems early on in a disaster like this, is they're trying to get the information in, they're trying to sort through what they have, and then make decisions based on that. Okay, but do you, it, uh, does it appear to be an orderly procedure? As Let's uh, try CBS. There is still one night. There is one plane that uh, is supposedly missing. However, there's been a crash in Pennsylvania. That could very well be that fourth plane. Four people looking for their babies. One mother was running back. The police wouldn't let her go. Although earlier they did, uh, they did say that um, that that plane believed to have been hijacked was on its way to Washington. The World Trade Center off of you. Thank you for you that bet. series of eyewitness reports. Uh, from Washington, Federal Protective Services now says there was no car bomb at the State Department. Oh. We've been uh, <coughs> reporting, uh, which was reported earlier, uh, that there had been an apparent car bomb at the State <coughs> Department. And I will repeat for emphasis, the Federal Protective Services says there was no, I repeat, no car bomb at the State Department. We've been saying straight through this morning that there are going to be uh, those occasions when there are reports <coughs> uh, rumors, speculation, we do the best we can to separate uh, fact uh, from uh, reports, uh, but it's inevitable that some first reports will be wrong. Uh, 
But these are the facts as we know them. What President Bush has called apparent terrorist attacks, two airplanes at separate times not far apart, hit the World Trade Centers. The World Trade Center buildings have collapsed. About 50,000 people work, generally speaking, in those 110-story buildings at the tip of Manhattan. A short while later, an aircraft of some sort plowed into the Pentagon in Washington. There was an explosion and fire there. There have been some injured. If anybody is dead at the Pentagon, that is not yet known. American Airlines Flight 11, bound for Los Angeles from Boston, has been identified as one of the planes that crashed into the World Trade Center this morning. This is according to American Airlines <coughs> officials quoted by the Associated Press. We had passed along earlier that this Flight 11 from Boston to Los Angeles was reported to have been one of the planes that might have crashed into the World Trade Center. You know what we have? Uh, the, then there was the plane crash, large plane crash in Somerset County, Pennsylvania. Now, I don't think that's a populated area, so my hunch on that would be that uh, that it was maybe there was a struggle that that was one of the planes that was intended to land uh, and crash somewhere in Washington. Yeah, um, <clears throat> but we don't have any word on that. So if that was the case, we'd heard earlier this morning there were four hijacked airplanes out of Logan Airport in uh, in Boston. Four of them were hijacked, which would mean that two went into the World Trade Centers, and uh, one went into the Pentagon, and possibly that fourth one crashed. Yeah. In, uh, in Pennsylvania. Now, we don't know why that crashed. We don't know if it, uh, we have very little information on that at all, except that maybe this was a heroic situation on the part of people on that airplane. Yep. Uh, we don't know that. Uh, but what we do know is this is the greatest disaster to we ever hit the continent of the United States. We could very well have shot it down. Yep. <clears throat> no, they would have told us that. Well, no, they, they may not know you yet. That. They wouldn't tell you that. You wouldn't know that yet. You realize they're shooting down a uh, these. By the way, these planes that are these are oh, right. commercial planes with people on board. They say they, that the seating capacity of that first 200, 767 200, was over 200 people. 250 people on a Boeing six, uh, 767. Uh, 250 flight 11. mothers and fathers. You're and right. Husbands now, and sons and when, daughters. When you get a crash, and by the way, 50,000 people were believed to have been. In at the time that this began earlier today, believed to have been inside the World Trade Center, fifty thousand people. Which is the how population many, of Utica? How many got out? We do not know. How many have uh, have not survived that? But both buildings have collapsed. Uh, it is the most incredible thing, I, 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 the most disastrous thing I think that I've ever seen. We'll see what they get here, and we might have a, an updated report. We'll stand just for a few more minutes. Uh, but there's really nothing more that 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 we can do here, um, except this is this is just uh, it's incredible. Uh, it is just amazing. Never seen anything like this in my life. Uh, switch now to MSNBC. Dealing with four major incidents: two in New York City, one in Western Pennsylvania. Right and another attack on the Pentagon in Washington, D.C. There have been major evacuations across Washington, D.C. Mm -hmm. Surveillance military planes <laughs> have been in the sky over the District of Columbia. It is now the top of the hour. You're watching NBC News live coverage on MSNBC. It is 11 o'clock on the East Coast, 8 o'clock on the West Coast. The day, July, uh, September 11th, the 9th, 2001 is a day that a great many people are going to be remembering for a long time to come. Two planes crashed into the World Trade Center. The twin towers then collapsed. Here is the second plane that just uh, struck shortly uh, after 9 a.m. The first plane preceded it by 15 minutes. Right, I don't think they have anything new to say. Uh, Kay, what did you just find out on the phone? I just spoke to my you sister. Know, people who are like Kay that has been running around the, the building, she has relatives. Yeah. I have a brother-in-law uh, that works <clears throat> like a block from the Capitol. Yeah. So I was very concerned. I talked to my sister. She lives in Arlington and works in Arlington. She's about five miles away. She said she can see the smoke. She has spoken to her husband who miracle of miracle didn't actually go into the office today he had a meeting in maryland now they're being he has contacted her said that he is fine but he can't get back to the city or to arlington because they won't allow him to cross the bridge back in 
Um, it took me several phone calls to get her, and she said she's been trying for the last 40 minutes to get back to me, but the phone lines are so messed up. <clears throat> it took her 10, 12 phone calls. That's um, because everybody just panics. Right. right. Panic. Well, right. my family alone, <clears throat> she said, I'm one of eight messages yeah. that she's already got just from my relatives. So um, th- at this point, they've locked down Washington, and they're not allowing anyone in or out. Same they want to. They want to evacuate the buildings, but they don't have, but they don't have anywhere to send people. them. The only place to send them is out on the street, which is probably more unsafe. Right. So. I'd, uh, I would be interested in, uh, in knowing, you know, it's 11 o'clock. We're about ready to wrap up what, what we're doing here because um, uh, there's just very, there's very little we can do. Yep. Um, I would uh, I would ask if you want to uh, make some phone calls and anything that you've heard, anything that you wonder about, any questions you might have, uh, if if you're out there, I wouldn't be listening to us right now. I'd be near a television, uh, quite honestly, um, which is where I, I want to be in just a little while. Uh, 793-1073, we'll take some calls if you want. If you don't, then we'll just go and do what... Uh, Whatever it is that, uh, that that we're supposed to do, I have to here. go call my other sister. <clears throat> okay, everybody, and I, and I I don't see a lot of work being a lot of work happening out there. Not a lot of people are able to accomplish anything today because this is a uh, yeah. this is a national tragedy. I'll take some calls. Hi, good morning. Hi, uh, I just wanted to let you know that we're listening to you and heard you say about the federal buildings in Washington being closed. Federal building in Utica is also closed. Yeah, we've been trying to confirm that. We were calling in the. Uh, uh, there is no answer there. So yeah, that, we just left there, and we went in. They let us through, and they escorted us right out the back door. Okay. Because okay. they're obviously fearing that this could happen throughout the country. Yep. I All think right. so. Thank you very much. Thanks. Federal buildings throughout the country are being closed. The federal building in Utica, from this report, has been closed. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, Who's that? Uh, you hold on. If you could, I want to talk to the, uh, to the mayor of uh, Utica, Mayor Tim Julian. Good morning, Mayor. Morning, Bill. What a morning. what a what a morning, day, a, a dismal day in our history, uh, to say the least. Yep. I'm uh, I'm just shocked by the whole thing. When I uh, I was actually driving in this morning, and I heard the report uh, on your station. Yeah, they said the first plane flew in, and of course you, you see this now and again where a small plane flies into something like this, and you think to yourself, oh, yeah, what what here. dumb luck or something like that. Yeah, but uh, this is just uh, this is just beyond belief and. Uh, watching it on tv i was i was down in new york city as part of a, a conference about uh, a month and a half ago and we uh, uh we stayed at the world trade center hyatt which was directly between the two towers and yes to think that this this symbol of uh of america that uh, that stands on the coastline so so strong and proud like that is down because of these uh i, I can't say it on the air i, yeah. I want to say it i'm sure what, I, everyone yeah. else is thinking it but uh-huh. uh this will certainly uh, I feel It'll call for, for swift repercussions, and 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 I say just take them all out. Yeah, this is just this is this is asinine. It's something that, that you can't believe it happened. Yep. Uh, from what I understand, I was watching uh, watching some TV. I'm out on the road right now. We blocked off around our state building here um, just for precautionary measures. We haven't heard anything. We haven't thought of anything. But just to you can never be too careful, You're especially right. at a time like this. <laughs> You're and, right. Uh, I, I, I just feel that, um, you know, this is that from, from what I understand, there was a plane heading up to Washington that was hijacked and it's on the ground now, whether it was shot down or whether they crashed it deliberately, I'm not sure, but they didn't uh, hit anything. Uh, I can only hope they yeah, shot it down. That, that um, was in a, it almost seems as if we might have, uh, we don't know anything, whether it was the heroics of someone in the airplane, whether it was just a, a, a coincidental crash, or whether or not we shot that out of the, out of the sky. Yep. Um, right. and, and imagine putting us, putting our military in a position. This is like out of a movie, yep. where you right. have to shoot down a commercial airplane with American citizens, with a 250 horrific, innocent people horrific. aboard, because the plane is is a is being used for for a terrorist uh, 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 tool. Well, any of those people, I mean, I know it doesn't go uh, very far to talk about the, the people who were on those planes as heroes, but any of those people who were on that plane, if they were shot down, <clears throat> are certainly heroes in my book because yep. uh, the purpose that they were shot down for is... Yep. Uh, and, is, so is, is it, and so is the pilot that shot them down. Absolutely. Oh, absolutely. absolutely. You know, this is, I'll tell you something else that uh, the word we're getting here in the, uh, trade, uh, the World Trade Center, 50,000 people expected to be in that building at any given time correct yeah it's uh as i was looking out when i was down there i looked out upon the <clears throat> upon the towers and i said to myself uh you know geez uh, 
this, you could probably fit the whole city of Utica uh, population into that building very easily and, and have them, uh, you know, go about their daily business. Mm-hmm. And uh, to, to think that the whole city of Utica could be wiped out by uh, an attack like that, I mean, just crashing a plane on its own right is such an act of terrorism and such an act of, uh, of violence and, and, and such a senseless loss of life, and then you, you see something like this. Not to mention the heroes of the New York City uh, police and fire departments yep. who were uh, caught in the aftermath of that when the buildings themselves collapsed. It's just... Uh, and all the people that were around the building uh, on the uh, ground with the, yeah. with the debris. I, I'm not an emotional person, and I'm not a, uh, a person who, who takes to anger very swiftly, because in this business you really can't be. Uh, but uh, this is something that just sickens me right to my stomach, and yeah. I, I hope that the, uh, the repercussions taken for this are, are, are swift, sure, and, and certainly uh, make a clear statement about the fact that this will not be tolerated on U.S. soil. So are there any uh, buildings in Utica that have been closed? Uh, I know that uh, we've just heard word that the federal building in Utica is closed. Uh, I believe it has been closed, yes. yeah. The state office building, as of yet, is still open. Uh, like I say, we barricaded around it, um, but we will... Uh, I, I believe the, there are some uh, some places on the base that are uh, that are under alert. Mm-hmm. Um, a, a employee of ours has a uh, child that works in the military, and uh, so that they are on the highest alert they could possibly be on without actually uh, having the base attacked. Well, there are fly- uh, fighter jets flying over Washington D.C. right now. Yes, uh, uh, we've <clears> ordered <throat> all the flags and half staff throughout the city, and uh, it, it's just it's it's it's. it's I don't know how to. Use it's it, 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 it's hard to yeah. put into words. It really is. Mayor, you know, the only thing you might yeah. be able to say after something like this, really, is uh, truly and I mean, really and truly. And I don't. You know me. I'm not a sappy mm-hmm. kind of a guy by any means. But uh, you know, take the people you love and give them an extra hug today. Yep, I think yeah, that's because important. nobody, nobody that got up this morning on that uh, that we're going to Logan Airport to get on a plane or we're going to work at the World Trade Center, nobody, mm-hmm. nobody thought that that would be the last time they'd see the person they loved. Yeah, you're, you're, when it, you're absolutely right. And when it's all said and done, uh, we hope that we can say and uh, look back on this in history and say that um, you know some very bad people in the world woke a sleeping giant. Yeah. Yeah. And um, <clears throat> you want these people to pay. Uh, Mayor, yeah. thank you so much. We Thanks, appreciate the, uh, the update. Okay. Thank yeah, you. Thank, thank you, guys. Thank uh, you. Joseph, good morning, Joe. Hey, how you doing, Bill? Good, man. Let me tell you, you're doing a really good job on this. Well. You know, some people, they're not home watching TV, they're in the car. At least they know what's going on. Yeah, I don't know what to, you know what? You don't you don't know what to do with something like this. You just don't know. I think I think whoever's doing this is a big chicken. Yeah, you know, I, they're doing it the wrong way. <laughs> I agree with you. I think they should, if they want to do this the right way, attack us the right way. I think they're just a bunch of chickens. Yeah, well, they can't attack us the the right way because I know. because and you know, imagine uh, the portion of the world that and if you've ever traveled uh, and dealt with people in other countries, there's a hatred. There is a hatred for us, and it's oh, yeah. based solely on jealousy. Absolutely, it's based that we have what they want. Yep. And uh, and uh, and then the the you know we saw a report on MSNBC the other day or whatever station, uh, talking about uh, these these pilots that will give their lives up. And why would you do it? Are you paid money? Well, no, you can't keep the money here. Uh, they're they're do it based on this belief that when they go to meet their God, they will be rewarded uh, with uh, tenfold. Uh, rewarded with uh, with everlasting life, mm-hmm. and uh, and they become something of a of a hero, and they <laughs> martyr themselves. Uh, that's the reason. That's how they're talked into doing these things. Yep. Uh, it's amazing, Joe. Thank you. All right, uh, Becky. Good morning. Hi. How are you? Good. Be- I th- we'll just take some calls now, and you can get whatever you want off your chest. Now do it. And, vent uh, a little, and, and then we'll we'll, well split. What I don't it. understand is how the hell does something like this happen? I don't know. It just seems like, I mean, you go to the airport and you can't even give them your license. You know, you don't have your license. You can't get on the plane. Yeah. I mean, it's like they search everything. I mean, how Yeah, the but these things, these things are planned months in oh, advance. Yeah. Yeah, and but- they are financed with incredible monies. I mean, this thing was, this thing, they said that this exact plan that's going on today, the guy that originally bombed the World Trade Center back in 93, uh, this was part, I mean, this was in his plans. <laughs> You know, this is uh, one of the I, things I'm, that he had going. If you've ever flown, I don't mean to get into WRCK Utica, Rome. I don't know if I've done that. Uh, I don't know that to, to get into this, 
Have you, if you've flown a lot, yeah. Oh, yeah. Tell, oh yeah. Are you really? Do you really believe security is that tight? No. Well, not no. everywhere. Not at all. Well, no. Yeah. No, but it just seems like. I mean, I didn't have my license with me, and they didn't. They gave me such a hard time. Uh-huh. My purse had gotten stolen. I'm like, oh my god, you know, they wouldn't let me on the plane. I had to go through all the stuff with police report. And, but that was really the only time that they... We're, we're almost getting, it's almost getting lax all over again. I mean, if you've ever, if you've, I, I've heard stories of some, uh, I, I spoke with somebody just recently who actually uh, owns a restaurant in town, uh, who said that he was carrying an entire thing of knives, and he carried them right on board. Nobody ever spotted it. The security did not catch it, and he had these, and he didn't think about it when he was doing it. And he got on board, and he's like, oh, my God, I have these knives. Well, that, you know, that's funny that you said that, because that, I had a knife in my purse, and the both sides had um, jagged edges, and yeah. I don't even know where I had gotten it from. Yeah. I, it was, I think it was one of my father's or something, uh-huh. and I had it in my purse, and I forgot it. Yeah. And I got in the plane, and, you know, you put your purse on the thing, and it goes through it the whole bit. And I got on the plane, and I went to go get my daughter a pet, and I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe that yeah, I had you, this in my purse. And you wonder about security. Now, there was just a thing on recently about uh, about airline security, and we have the technology to fix all of this. We have the technology to be able to 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 to, to uh, recognize any almost any weapon that you could possibly take on. I don't uh, understand. But it's, it costs money, and the FAA has not required it of, of these airports and these airlines. It is not required. It's become well, lax. actually, if you recall... <clears throat> it would raise ticket prices, and they don't want to yeah, do that. But if you actually, if you recall, about six months ago, give or take a little bit, they actually have a device out there that is very <laughs> similar to an MRI machine in a hospital yeah. where they could actually make you walk through what you walk through right now is a metal detector mm-hmm. right. they could actually make you walk through basically a human x-ray machine where they can see through your clothes they would see through i mean they can see anything that you've got on you and the first persons or persons that started yelling about it was the ACLU mm-hmm. saying it was improper search and seizure to make somebody who wanted to get on an airplane walk through one of these one of these detectors and as a passenger I could, you know what? I, I would prefer. If they uh, want right. me to walk through something yeah. like that, heck, I'd do it. I'll if go naked. Yeah. Me. You're you got, actually yeah, right. but you've got you've got as you said you've got the government not crazy about doing it because of the cost. Mm-hmm. You've got the airlines not crazy about doing it because of raising costs and increasing amount of time it takes for people to get through. You're right. The metal detectors and so on in order to board Folks, the it's plane. Not, it, it, we so all, we got cost. We all don't want it because right. you want to pay for. Why do you think that you I can fly for ninety nine dollars to right. Florida <laughs> and back? I mean, you you yeah. wonder. And uh, when they were talking about plane crashes uh, on one of these reports, you wonder. I mean, are we? Is this the price we have to pay? Because this is a massive disaster. But you've got cost. You've got it. now. Now, if if you're a proponent, okay, six months ago, if you're one of the guys that is the proponent of this machine, maybe you're the guy that invented the machine and is out there trying to sell it. Yeah. And you've got the ACLU against you. You've got the airlines against you. I'm not saying the government's for you, but you sure as hell they sure as hell you know aren't the working for not, you. They're not for you either. Because, and the passengers yeah. aren't helping you. I mean, pretty soon you feel like you're banging your head against the wall saying, man, I better go back to selling cars because right. nobody wants this thing yeah. I got. Until know? there's yeah, a now, massive I mean, disaster. Now, what, now what, where do we go? I don't you know, know where we this, go. I mean, it's like if this happens, then anything can happen. I mean, this is something that you you think would never, ever happen. I mean, you, you hear, oh, you know, it could yeah. happen or whatever, but this just seems like something. Not, in this, not in this country. Uh, again, our biggest... You know, we we are the military giant in the world. That's what I'm saying. Our, I mean, we're supposed to be the best, and how you know? Our 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 loss, our our weak part, our weakness is um, is our strength. Is is our strength, and our weakness is the fact that you know we have a free country. That is our strength. There's the weakness that we have. Yeah. People can people can get through. It is a terrible Come thing. Come and go as they please. The thing that makes this country great is the thing that could actually topple it. Uh, Becky, thank you. I have another one. Uh, Dave, what did you want to add, Matt? Anything? No, they're good. Nothing. Okay, uh, SUNY Utica Rome has canceled all classes today. SUNY Utica Rome has canceled all classes today. Mayor Giuliani has been quoted as saying in New York City, a tremendous number of lives have been lost. I think it's inconceivable. We have no uh, idea. We're, we're looking at the potential of 50,000 people being in the Twin Towers, uh, New York City. Well, and now um, the part of the Pentagon has collapsed. Uh, let's go to uh, David here. Dave. Yeah. You know, 
some lady called up and want to know how the hell could this happen. Well, look what the country is doing. We're bringing over more immigrants than you can possibly shake a stick at. And it's uncontrollable. That it's hasn't got anything land to do with free. it. America is free, but look what we're doing. Yeah. And people being in the Twin Towers, uh, New York City. Well, and now um, the part of the Pentagon has collapsed. Uh, let's go to uh, David here. Dave. Yeah. You know, some lady called up and want to know how the hell could this happen. Well, look what the country is doing. We're bringing over more immigrants than you can possibly shake a stick at. And it's uncontrollable. That it's hasn't got anything land to do with it. Free. America is free, but look what we're doing. Yeah, I, I, and it doesn't have anything to do with it. No. These aren't these aren't people that are uh, that are trying to become citizens or infiltrate into this. These are just these they are these are people that hate this country. It, it's crazy. These people got to be crazy. I mean, I'm scared. And see these army guys. We're working on the road, and see these army guys come and say, "Hey, yeah. we're going, we're going, going to work." I said, "Where are you going?" He said, "We got to go to Griffiths." Yeah. I said, "God be with you." God uh, be with you. Uh, uh, pretty it's just scary. Uh, pretty amazing, David. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, well, and that's. <clears throat> the military that's moving now. Where did you, you get this? Did someone imagine. call you on that? Yeah, somebody called with something. On. I've heard a lot of rumors out there. We've heard a lot of things, yeah. and I'm not going to repeat them. I think we're going to stay here for a little bit. We're going to try to uh, listen. I could patch. Do updates. We could do. Um, we could go to music, but I honestly, in a, at a time like this, we should. Um, if if yeah. that's what you want, you put in a compact disc. Because uh, we're trying to patch through one of our news networks, so it'll be patched through here, right. and that's what we would be uh, we would be broadcasting. This is a time of national security. It's a time where the freedoms national that you tragedy. have, the freedoms that we do have in this country, are are being violated, and 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 the the, the you can bitch and moan about everything that you know the taxes are too high and this is but this is the greatest place in the world to live absolutely yep. we are the luckiest people in the world we leave our homes in the morning and we don't have to worry about being stopped on the road by uh guerrilla warfare or anything else you get to choose your 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 vocation yep. you get to you get all of the freedoms and the luxuries oh it's terrible we have it so awful we can't afford two tvs these are the problems we have in our lives that's a tough life uh, whereas the rest of the world is uh, is is uh, good parts of it. It's pretty it's pretty scary. Yep. And here now, someone and I and I know this sounds goofy, but um, but I was and I it was last it was earlier in the week last week it was Thursday or Friday. I take my little pee break and I went down into <laughs> the uh, down into the and I'll tell you exactly where I was at the time into the ladies room because Frank was in the men's room and I was that, in the ladies room doing that. and I'm peeing and I'm thinking. I don't know why I thought of this last week, but I said, man, you know what? And I'm thinking of my kids, and I'm thinking, we've been brought up in such a wonderful... I guess what I was trying to do is think about what to talk about in the next break is what I was doing, and this popped into my head. My kids get to be brought up in the most incredible world in the world. Yep. Uh, that doesn't make Area sense. in the world. Um, surely at, by luck, too. At Surely by luck. And you know what? We did talk about it. You yeah. remember we talked about yeah. it, and I said... We're that is after I came back from the bathroom. That's right. We're so lucky to have what we have, and I'm wondering for those that believe in reincarnation, what's next for us? All right. With that thought, what what prompted that for me was how much longer in our history do we live the way we live? How, how much mean? longer does this country have? Um, because you look at Rome, you look at some of the uh, you, uh, you look at you remember at one time Rome controlled Europe. Yes, Rome. The Roman Empire was was the power in the entire world, and it could never be toppled. No, nope. uh, and you you really begin to wonder and a little the bit. The Colosseum is still standing. Uh, it's still standing, but the, the 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 power that they once had has 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 gone, as that empire was toppled. Yeah. Our empire is the greatest in the world. It can never be toppled. We have freedom. We have the we have the rights to do things. We have the rights to be what we want to be. To uh, any person can become the richest man in the world. And even though you don't have the same opportunities, anybody could be president. Even though they say, "Well, you can't because you you don't have the money for that." Or you don't. You can be whatever you want to be in this country. Yeah. And as I'm thinking, I said, "Well, what if my kids don't have that luxury in 10 years? What if uh, we get hit with a uh, terrorism and we can't?" And look at what has happened today. Because that's what I've always feared, that the war that we face is not some nutcake with a nuclear bomb somewhere. It's from within.
And that's what we're looking at here yep. today. Pretty. Uh, well, isn't just, this what uh, you've always feared? That uh, it was going to take something like this to actually get to us? Yeah, because so when it's you were happening growing up, all around the country, didn't you fear when you were growing up that it was going to be every time an airplane would go over, you'd fear nuclear attack yep. because you knew that the uh, that the the Russians were out there, the Soviet Union was out there, and you feared communism. And uh, back, go even further into the '60s and into the '50s, the bomb shelters. People had the uh, yeah. the, the bomb drills. Uh, you have a bomb shelter I have in your a bomb house. Shelter in my house. Yeah. Can we go there and broadcast? <laughs> just in case. You know, uh, just think of this. We have the greatest, greatest country in the world, and we bitch and moan about it, and we criticize it, and we hate it, and we, but all in all, find a better place. You can't find a better place. Let's uh, let's switch now to a couple of the uh, the news organizations. We'll get what we can get. We're trying to patch in a uh, a news network, I believe, AP, uh, the Associated Press, and when that happens. I will begin to, uh, we're just going to go away and let you listen to this for the rest of the day. Uh, I don't know that we have the rights to air it, but, hell, we don't have the rights to air MSNBC, but I'm about to do it now. And we're going to move out of here right now just to keep ourselves safe. So we're going to start walking north ourselves. But that's what we're being told by New York City firefighters here, that there were reports of a bomb in that high school right there. It's called Stuyvesant High School. And so we are walking north to get out of the way. You can see just to my left here, these are the, even the ambulances which were down there are being moved north. <laughs> the firefighters are being moved north. Every well, now all the wackos come out, whether this is a true or well, not I, true. Um, uh, I heard on another channel when I was in another room that that high school had been checked and it was safe. All right, let's go to but Anissa. That's another now, somebody made a comment earlier about immigrants. Good morning. Hi, Aaron. This is Anissa. Hi. I just wanted to say I am. I feel so bad for the people what happened in New York and all over. Mm -hmm. Sure you do. And uh, the guy Dave or whatever his name is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It wasn't right to accuse the immigrants. You're you're because completely right. All people in the United States came from somewhere. You're That's right. right. So yeah, I mean, I just, I just, it wasn't right at you're all. You're absolutely That's right. Me, and we told him that, too. It makes me feel really bad. I just want him to know that. Well, you know what? We can't make the same mistakes. We have a, a history of things that we've done when it comes to tragedy. We've done an awful lot of bad things. which is, uh, as you know, not far from uh, hey, the Rick. World Trade Center. And Rick. there are still people in this area who are doing everything okay. they possibly uh, can. Uh, Rick, I just want to stop Go you ahead. there. Uh, as the information is coming fast and furious, that's the same high school that uh, we've just been reporting is apparently being evacuated for fears of a secondary uh, device, another device. So uh, even as you're reporting that, things are moving fast and furious. That's it's got to be incredibly difficult to, to figure out where safe ground is right now. Well, we've been... All right, we've lost our area. signal. We'll have it back. Moving everyone out. Their fear is, of course, that there are gas leaks, natural gas in this area that either fed into or out of the buildings that have exploded, and now those lines are open and may rupture. We're yeah, you don't know if this is uh, these are further attacks or if this is just uh, this is a domino effect. Yeah. Right. Here's Kevin. Let's go to uh, Kevin on the line here. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Bill. How are you today? Good. Well, good. Okay, not too good. Not right. good. Yeah. Well, you know, it's times like these where when we go through these struggles and these storms that it defines who we are as people and as individuals. Yeah, I think and you're our right. country has always been one that will rebound and get back on its feet even in these tragedies. And I'm calling you today to encourage everyone in our Mohawk Valley to pray. Yeah, I really think you're right. Get I think on you're our right. Knees and seek God that you know we've been blessed in upstate New York. And that this is just another situation that will bring us, no matter how far apart we are as people, <coughs> cultures, or races, this will ultimately bring us together and make us that nation that God has called us to be. And You're right, Kevin. No matter, no matter who or whom you call God, yeah, that's it wouldn't a, be a bad idea. The sad thing is, though, Kevin, I don't mean to—I to, know we all feel we're on the right side of religion. The sad thing is— that this terrorist attack is probably based on religion. On religion. on religion. It's probably based on man's religion, but it's definitely not based on the love of God. That God still no. Well, no, it is. It, it really is, is. It's based on their love, what they the, believe. their God that if they what, believe is true, and that is the most disturbing thing of all. Well, and I want to apologize 
to everyone of Arab descent that's listening, but assuming what we're hearing is true and assuming that these are Palestinians that are that are behind this this thing here, you'll probably hear if the FAA has transcripts of tapes from those planes that were going into the building, I guarantee you hear somebody <clears throat> screaming Allah's name. And they're doing it in Allah's name. And, and and Allah to them is God. That's I mean, we call him God or her God. They call him you know, Allah. what we're dealing with here, they're doing they're dealing with in uh in uh in Israel every single day. Yeah, exactly. That is their life, the life they live, and this is all based now hold on, uh it says here more than hundred and fifty thousand people visit the World Trade Center on an average day. At any time, fifty thousand people could be inside those two towers. Think about that. 150,000 people a day. And, Kevin, I'm with you. My God would not uh, would right. not ask the us God to. God I serve is a God of peace yeah. and a God of love. And I'm going to leave you with one scripture. Okay. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, Whew, that whosoever should believe in him shall not perish, but shall have everlasting life. For he sent his son not in the world to condemn it, but to save it. And I pray that he will save us and bring us through. Kevin, Amen. I appreciate the uh, appreciate the phone call. Uh, here's uh, another Kevin. Good morning, Kevin. Good morning, Bill. Yeah, are, are you noticing the uh, the? I mean, he's crying. The emotion. The emotions that this stuff actually. That's a grown man. A man. Men don't cry. He's crying. This is a national disaster. And it affects us all over the place. It affects everybody. This uh, is a where were you when Kennedy yeah, got shot. This is, yeah. an, this is uh, just yeah, where awful. were you when Pearl Harbor got it. Kevin, good morning. Good morning. Um, everybody wants to know what's going on, how this could happen. I spent many a years around the military, in the military myself. I worked for the FAA over on Griffith. The FAA does everything they can to keep stuff like this happening. Yeah. I have. If, if you go back in the history between every war... The government, the U.S. government, the president, Congress has actually lowered the military. How many people were in the military? Cut back all their cutbacks, and then something like this happens every time. Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't know. Our that, guards down. I don't know. Well, I brought up the sleeping giant uh, yeah. uh, earlier. I, I don't know that it's. I don't know that it's necessarily, but it seems to be that we have let down and that, well, we don't need this like we used to, and we, get, we don't need this base anymore, and we don't yeah. need this. You're, you're really, you really have to wonder. Although I must say, uh, if Griffiths Air Force Base were active today, uh, we would be affected even more so Absolutely. than we are right oh, yeah. now. Yes, we would. Uh, uh, Kevin, thank you for the phone call. Oh, I will thank guarantee you. you that the New York State National Guard has already been alerted. They're already, well, oh, they're already being somebody, mobilized. Somebody right there that they, uh, they had seen... Uh, guys in the guard, and going they asked where they were Griffiths. going. They said, "We're going to we're going yeah. to Griffiths. We've been called to Griffiths." Uh, I've lost all of my lines. All of a sudden, I had had John there, but he's gone. I got to take a quick break, and uh, and we'll come right back here. This is uh, our coverage of this disaster because we don't know what else to do. Um, uh, it's eleven thirty. Remote control car starters are the ultimate convenience item when installed. Rome Labs stuff uh, out there. There's been some evacuations there. We know that the federal building in Utica has been uh, has been closed. Uh, we spoke with Mayor Julian earlier this morning, and he had said that they had actually uh, put extra protection around the uh, the state office building. Uh, might be an idea to contact uh, Joe Grippo. We'll do our best in doing this. Also, at the same time, we're going to be switching back and forth to uh, the Associated Press. And uh, their radio broadcast, which uh, we will uh, we will switch to here, just in an effort to keep everybody informed on what is going on. I just got a phone call too um, from a local Arab businessman who uh, did not tell me his name, but wanted to thank me for my comments concerning the Arab people that are in this country, and wanted me to remind everybody that you know, mm -hmm. number one, nothing is definite. We don't know who this is that has done that. Number one, and number two, that the majority. The majority of people here. And by majorities, you're talking about massive majorities. Absolutely. 99.9999% are Christian people that are just as devastated by the by today's happenings as anybody with with any kind of a heart is as well. Uh, let's switch now and see what uh, what we get. Now that would be the uh, the TV. We'll go around uh, and see what. Um, here, Matt and Maureen. 
Thank you, Trish Lamont. A couple of important pieces of information before we go for now. The airport is closed till at least 6 o'clock tonight. Flights from across the country are landing in Syracuse right now, so out-of-town people are clogging up hotels in the North Syracuse area. So the flights are coming into Syracuse. Yeah. Yeah. Being now, diverted out of uh, New York, probably. This is WTVH in Syracuse. Yeah. They're going to land as many as they could, actually probably. Actually, 11.45, probably about five minutes from now. We're going to be going live with Michael Benny to the Board of Elections to see what's the latest on that. A couple of other developments. There's a noontime press prayer service scheduled for the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception, that's the Roman Catholic Cathedral in downtown Syracuse, also at St. Anne's Roman Catholic Church in Manlius at 515, over to SUNY right, let's Utica, switch. that has been closed SUNY for the SUNY Utica day. was the Red Cross, uh, all cla course, asking classes. asking to call, pick up the phone and call New York. Uh, I believe I as... They would not have been quite so relaxed. Uh, if, Look at uh, that. if the president this is ABC, was they're doing live coverage with uh, showing the uh, military on top of the White House. Uh, there is no, uh, nobody's told them where the president is going to land on his way back. In well, fact, we have to remember something. Now, let me mention this as well. He, as Peter Jennings just said, nobody knows where the president is going to land. And uh, the closest airstrip there is no that Air that Force One can land at from Washington, from Cold, I believe, I mean, besides some of the other military, is Griffiths. All high-profile buildings in New York City. Well, they're not going to um, certainly, certainly can't send them to Pennsylvania be. because there's been a right. crash there. It's certainly been true in Chicago. The Sears Tower of Chicago was evacuated. So were the tallest skyscrapers. Let's switch now to AP. Uh, I'm going to switch to AP News and see what they have here. 95 heading south into Virginia. And uh, for a moment, I saw this plane uh, just uh, uh, head into uh, the Pentagon. Um, you know, for uh, the moment I thought that, uh, it, I mean, I was never thinking it was a, a terrorist attack, but some sort of, uh, you know, plane that's landing in the Pentagon. <laughs> but shortly thereafter, you saw the flames and the loud sound, you know, and that really was a, 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 a jolting effect. All right, we're going to uh, now switch to somewhat of the NBC coverage. Now there's some local cancellations that are uh, that are coming in here that we can keep you abreast of. Around us as the, the winds were whipping through <clears> the corridors in Lower Manhattan. They're now talking here about the, um, well, we've just lost that. We do know that SUNY Utica Rome has canceled all classes for today. Uh, the federal building in Utica, we are told, has been closed, although we've not heard that from any officials, uh, except for people that were in the building and they were ushered out of the building. That they are uh, that the federal building in Utica has been closed. State office building. Mayor Julian had said earlier that there was a um, who was that? I'm, I was just noticing the man that they showed. He was full of dust. He had to have okay. been outside yes, the, top the building. Top of his head. That's Ron Insana, yeah. who's with MSNBC with their he's uh, their financial correspondent. Oh, he must. And he helped. was in the Wall Street district. Oh. He's uh, covered in dust. As they continue to show this picture uh, here is just a. Um, Disastrous picture of the of the of the oh there God. the plane going into which we saw that live this now, the morning. The plane hit the far side of the building and came and through, came it. through and it. it. Came through it. No, see that right there. Yeah, I see what you're talking. Yeah. About. All right, hold on. There's some From cancellations. The hold on. Hold on. Due to the catastrophic uh, traffic events in the uh, morning in New York City and Washington, you see the following local events have been canceled. AFSA Data is closing at 11.45 this morning. No second shift. SUNY Institute of Technology, Utica Rome classes canceled. Harbor Point Redevelopment Framework Plan Meeting uh, postponed. And Mount Markham Central School's after-school activities have been canceled. SUNY Video Conference canceled. SUNY MCSE Open House has been canceled. The Ilian Mohawk Pop Warner practices have been canceled as well. SUNY Utica Rome has canceled all classes for today. And that's just uh, going to continue to grow. Gonna continue today. This is going to be uh, turning into a uh, your typical uh, winter storm situation where all of a sudden everything begins to close just because uh, whether it be out of fear or the fact that there's how do people produce today how do you do anything how today? is there any productivity um i i don't know well even the girls in our front office you know they sit in their offices in the main the main office and the traffic office they've moved their phones into a production room so that they can keep abreast of what's yeah. going on so they can answer questions when p people call in all right, we'll continue to monitor this. Let's switch back over to AP Network News. Um, I, I, on my way to work, I heard about the, um, the World Tower uh, tragedy, and I stopped to make a call to some uh, friends and loved ones, and I was heading back out to um, the Pentagon, and uh, that's when I heard, that's when I saw 
Did the thought of terrorism ever strike you this morning when you saw that plane plow into the Pentagon? Yeah, it did because of, you know, the prior knowledge of hearing what was going on in, uh, at the World Trade Center. I just felt it might have been too much of a coincidence for it to be an accident. All right, where are you now? I'm here in Columbia Pike uh, with one of your reporters. So you, uh, you are seeing people uh, streaming up Columbia Pike, which is uh, uh, one of the avenues leading away from the Pentagon, is it not? That is true. All right. How many people are on that street from the Pentagon? Any in uniform? Um, uniform, yeah. There were a few uniform people. Well, there are uh, a significant amount of uniform personnel on, on the street that we have, we have been seeing most of the morning. All right. We've been told that... Uh, that uh, fighter jets were scrambled over Washington. Have you seen any of those jets uh, uh, in your area passing yes. over? Yes, we saw we saw a few. Um, Pretty incredible. Uh, I'd be willing to take some more phone calls on this. Uh, if you've been near a television, this is a traumatic experience. Uh, we have people inside this building that are uh, that are that are in tears and crying. Uh, people who have called. Um, with family uh, in New York City, trying to reach family. It's become very difficult this morning. Uh, let's go back to, do we have the audio from earlier this morning? We received a phone call from a young lady by the name of Amanda in, uh, in New York City, and we'll do that coming up in a second. Uh, I'll explain what her story is. She was nearby. She lives in the, uh, in the seaport area yep. of, uh, of Manhattan, which is just down. Uh, for instance, the seaport area borders the Wall Street area. Yep and uh, would be within eye's view. They went to the top of their building when they heard the explosion and they could see it. They saw the flames, they saw the fire coming out of the World Trade Center. They then, 18 minutes after the first airplane, and remember, this was a, this is a, uh, this is a passenger airplane. Yep. A second passenger airplane came in and she could see the plane coming in. She lost sight of it and then heard the explosion and then saw the smoke. She could not, from the height of her building, she could not see uh, the actual impact that we were able to see on television. But, and as that happened, she was speaking with us. Um, that's when, uh, this would have been about an hour later, when one of the, uh, one of the towers from the World Trade Center collapsed. And um, her phones went dead. At that point, right. her lines went dead. She was cut off, and we were unable to uh, to reach her, uh, unable to reach her again. Um, <clears throat> just, uh, uh, just, I. What do you say? What What do you say? Um, switching now. They're doing some report is coming up here on uh, one of the uh, one of the TV stations. This is the director of public safety. We've increased the shuttle buses from the terminals to the MBTA Blue Line stop, and the MBTA has increased the uh, frequency of um, subway uh, transportation. That is in New York City? In close communication with the FAA, the FBI, state police, Commonwealth of Massachusetts. This is in, uh, this is this is in, in Boston. Boston. That's yeah. all I have right now. You've got to tell us more about these planes that left this what, what flights do you have reports on? This, of course, uh, uh, they've got to be a little worried in, uh, in Boston. That's where all of the airplanes were hijacked out of. That's yeah. right. Out of Logan a a International Airport in, uh, in Boston. Uh, switching now, some of the other cancellations that we have, we're told the Utica National is, uh, is closed. Uh, some further cancellations as we're, we're bringing them to you. SUNY uh, Utica Rome canceled all classes for today. Uh, other uh, cancellations here in, uh, in the area, the following... Uh, this off News Channel 2 have been canceled. APSA Data Corporation is closing at 11.45 right now. No second shift. SUNY Institute of Technology, Utica, Rome classes have been canceled. The Harbor Point Redevelopment Framework Plan meeting has been postponed. Well, Markham, after school activities canceled. SUNY Video Conference canceled. The uh, SUNY MCSE Open House has been canceled. Ilian Mohawk Pop Warner practices have been canceled for today. And you want to know, why are the cancellations coming? You, you really have to wonder, what can be accomplished Nothing. today? Nothing. Nothing. I mean, do you, uh, this, this is, is a, where your mind will be today, yeah, exactly. tomorrow, it and the next an, day. And, and so everybody, we know what's going everybody on. who is anywhere right now with any kind of a pulse whatsoever is either concentrating on what's going on on the TV and luckily on the radio and also on what's going on with their own loved ones, whether they be at home or at school yeah. or at work. And Pretty we incredible. Have, we have to feel, it's hard to say lucky, but 
there's a lot of people in together. the New York City area, in the D.C. area, in these places where this has happened, they don't know what's going on. I When I spoke with my sister, she's in a building. There's no TVs. She doesn't know what's going yeah. on outside her building. She doesn't know what's happening in downtown D.C. They don't know what's... We know more than they do, and they're right in the in the heat of it. Yeah. I had a little, uh, I mean, well, I shouldn't say this. I won't. Don't. All right, let's go to, uh, we have uh, some AP. Four flight attendants see and what two the, pilots. The latest they have from AP. a total of 156 people on board two planes. A statement from American makes no direct mention of today's attacks in New York City and near Washington. But the company says it is working closely with the U.S. government. Authorities will not you know what is, uh, their information at this time. One think of the devastation that's created by one single airplane crash. Yeah. Right. There were four today, and then everything else that occurred. This little piece and of paper, were, we'll give it to you again. And there were four deliberate ones. It. Deliberate. Here it is. American Airlines response number, in case you're concerned about relatives or friends, 1-800-245-0999. Again, 1-800-245-0999. We'll give it to you again in a few moments. Ross? Yes, uh, Rita, as we watch... Uh, film now in a video from New York watching uh, uh, the, the smoke billow over the city. It's, uh, it's turned mostly white now, gray, no longer the black smoke uh, from the Twin Towers. The Twin Towers have been down now for almost two hours. A city spokesman in Denver where emergency preparedness officials gathered in the base of city, basement of City Hall says, I don't think there's any place in America right now that's not at risk. It's just six, says Keith Myers, a computer technician watching police cordon off headquarters in downtown Columbus, Ohio. It just shows you how vulnerable we really are. Another person saying others uh, like uh, Lynn Moore of Columbus, Ohio, I think they ought to start watching who we let into this country. We're just too generous. He says, I think we have just become too comfortable. In Philadelphia, dozens of people gathering in a hotel lounge to watch the television coverage. A visitor from Texas weeping. Beverly Evans of Dallas, Dallas says, I can't believe what I'm seeing. I never thought I would see anything like this in my lifetime. I think that goes for all of us as well. You just couldn't imagine what has happened in New York and Washington, and yet uh, this is the real world we live in. Authorities from coast to coast, of course, are on alert. They're halting air traffic, evacuating high-profile buildings. In Los Angeles, <coughs> the police have mobilized an anti-terrorist division evacuations have been ordered at the Sears Tower in Chicago and also at the UN building in New York where all of this started this morning around nine o'clock Eastern time and we're going to have a, uh, a witness we're going to hear from a witness momentarily who uh, was uh, there when the incidents occurred we've heard from a number of those witnesses and it's very difficult to listen to them yep. uh, you wonder what uh, the title of this is going to be given uh, I know that sounds in my weird uh, well, mind. What is the title? Uh, sooner or later, there will be logos. Oh, they're already up. They're already done. America under attack. Uh, attack yeah. of America. <clears throat> uh, and and for, for those here in our uh, coverage area, uh, do you have family there? That's something that, uh, that that's concerning you. Have you contacted your family? We'd be interested in hearing from you. Uh, uh, and how is this affecting people here. Our phone number is 793-1073. We take some calls for a little bit. We're going to spend a few more minutes with us, and then uh, uh, we're going to do what everybody else does, and that is just to watch this uh, as we uh, as, as we go through the day here today. Nick is on the phone line. Good morning, Nick. I'll take some calls here. Good morning. Yeah, I'm, I've been watching this. I, I woke up to this. I think this is the biggest disgrace to America, that we bring these people and try and give them help. And who are we talking about? Yeah, who is, who who's are we they? talking about, though, Nick? I don't know who we're talking about. Who are we? Who's hijacking all these planes? Well, it's obviously all these people that are anti-American that, if, that we're letting over here all the time, anyways, on scholarships and all this bull crap. When if they're anti-American, they shouldn't be in the United States. Yeah, anyway. but these are that you see. But but the, do you the, think this is someone from within our country? Well, obviously, the, these people have come into our country because they got on planes in our country. These people, we never should have... I mean, granted, America is for the freedom. It's for the people that need to come here. But we just let too many people through the door. Yeah. Well, I... I I'm, uh, we let too many. Yeah. Now, we have people... But what if the... Re Nick, what if the rest of the country had said that when your grandparents or great-grandparents yeah. or great-great-grandparents had wanted to come over? Well, my great-great-great-granddad 
was granted the state of Maine from England. So, oh, well. you know, that was sort of like England gave that to my great, great, great granddad. But no, I'm not saying that, no. But I'm saying these well, people. Your grandfather like should have shared the Yeah, well. he, he got screwed. Bad attitude. Yeah, the problem is, though, that in a free country, what uh, what is the greatness of this country could very well be the uh, the danger for this country. Yeah. It's our freedom. Oh, yes. Yeah. And, so and what to and say... These people come in here, and today we lost thousands of people. Yeah, no, that's Literally. not that's not what... You know, just letting someone come into the country is not going to mean for a hijacked airplane. It's terrorism. These are special people. That's They're right. terrorists. And we're letting them in uh, because we're not protecting our borders. We're just saying, hey, Joe so, Schmoe. But you don't understand. But here. how are you to say, in. are you to say that no one anymore, no one can travel for tourism purposes to the United States? I'm not saying that. Because that's, well, how do you think they're this, getting this in? Yeah. They they're in. not coming in and registering with the social service or something. They're driving across the Freedom Bridge or the yes. Rainbow Bridge coming from Canada to here. That's how it's happening. And they're doing it simply, these people boarded airplanes just like any other tourist yeah. in America. Plane. You're saying they came across from Canada. So maybe we ought to we, cut off our Canadian border. Oh my God! Okay. I'm going to have to. I understand your frustration because we all have it. But I no, use that today as an example. we lost thousands of people. Okay, right. I lost family. Can I? Can, you lost family I today. I lost family. Who did you lose today? Hmm? I lost a brother that was in the World Trade Center that I know was not walking out of there. So well, I lost family today. America is too soft on everybody. Well, maybe that's true. If, if you, if you, no, if, it's way too true. People go out and kill people. They mm -hmm. get five, ten years. Yeah, take them out back, put a bullet in their damn head, get rid of them. Yeah. Well, if, if these, this stuff like this, we never should have let the people. I don't care. They're from a freaking anti-American country. They never should have been allowed in the country to begin with. If they're from Libya, anything that's anti-America, they never should have been allowed in here. All right. Well, I understand your frustration, and we're sorry, and we're uh, we're sorry of your loss. All right. No, you're not. You're sorry for your rating. They never should have been allowed in here. I'm sorry for my what? You're sorry about your rating. My. They never should have been allowed in here. These people, my none rating. of them, ever should have been allowed in America. Ratings? They should have kept them right over there. I don't care if they're shooting their own people. Let them do it. That's their problem, not ours. How many? What am I afraid of? What am I sorry for? My my ratings. All you're working on is your rating. My ratings. Yeah, you're just wor working on an audience. Well, unfortunately, I'm here to here to tell you that that. Uh, well, That's crap. You yeah. know, if you're it way off if base, it weren't man. for my ratings, man, you wouldn't have a voice to be able to uh, to to spew your your racial comments. I you don't know? think they're racial. Well, technically, well, of they are. They are. Well, I think every one of them ought to be shipped right back where the hell they came from, especially right. them damn Indians. And uh, well, Nick's and, letting and, his yeah, emotions get and, the best and of him. And by the way, and by the way, the Indians would like to, you know, really go after your great 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 grandfather. No, I'm not talking American Indians. I'm okay. talking these Indians that were oh. the ah. Sir, mourn today. Do your mourning, but try not to be so angry. Give me a freaking break. Here's Carl. Good morning, Carl. Good morning, Bill. I'm just working on my retins. You're yeah. working on your retins. Mm -hmm. yeah. Somewhere you. along the line, he's lost his British accent from his great-great-great-great-grandfather. Yes, yes, yes. If, if, if you wanted it that way, none of us would be here except the American Give me a break. That's right. Jeez. Because we all came from different countries, if you exactly. really want to look at it that way. Yep. Yep. Um, I was getting some, I was watching MSNBC, and uh, they said the four planes, American Airlines has taking credit for the two that hit the Trade Center. Two of them, yes. Two of them. One from L uh, from Boston, heading to L.A. The other one came out of Washington. Oh, it did not up. come out of Logan. It okay. didn't come out of Logan. And then a third was a United out of New Jersey, and the fourth was a United out of Boston. Now, how did has there been any word on the television on how the, uh, the plane went down in Pennsylvania? Uh, no, they just said it went down. That's all they said, outside of Pittsburgh, okay. north of Pittsburgh or There's whatever. But that was about it. And the thing I'm trying to figure out is, you know, with the security in airports, how did the people get on those planes to begin with? The only thing I can figure out is it may have been employees of some sort, maybe now, a terrorist that was I, a it could have been, but, himself. but I'm going to tell you, you get on those I've planes? I've flown a lot, and uh, and I got to tell you, we were talking earlier about people able to get knives on board, and, yeah. and uh, I'm going to tell you something. It is, it's difficult when the goal is to remember. Here are our goals: low fares. Yep. Yep quickly let's stop the we've got to stop the delays at airports yep. Yep. and put those two things together uh, and and that you gotta move, quick, and then you gotta move them quickly and be, uh, some people get in you know I went through a uh, I went through a 
it, interesting little a little thing now. How does this happen? I went through yesterday a metal detector, and I had my son with me. As we both walked through, both of us walked through, we went through the metal detector, and the beep went off. Now, my son came through with me. We both went to the other side. I then had to empty out my pockets, and the man came with his stick and checked me, and there was nothing. Do you know my son was never checked? Now, he's six years old. Yep. Yep. No one would ever check a little boy. That's right. Why would you do that? But you tell me that some nutcake yep. that believes that he's going to be a religious martyr could not, would not plant a gun or some oh, sort absolutely. of a weapon on a child? Absolutely would. This is how this happens all over America, yep. all over the world. Security is not that tight. It's tight, but it's not that tight. My daughter flew to Florida in the spring, and she was stopped at the checkpoint because her belt had a lot of metal on it, yep. and it was causing the alarm to go off. Coming back, it went off again because of her belt, we're assuming, and she said to the man, it's my belt, and he said, oh, okay, go ahead. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah, uh, Carl, I appreciate I, I appreciate the phone call, Carl. Oh, the other thing I was going to yep. tell you is they said that they closed all of Disney. Uh, Disney, we heard Disney's. We heard Disney's have been closed as well. All in, all in Orlando. Yep. Just, uh, just amazing. Let's go to uh, Carl. Thank you so much. Yep. We'll do one more, and then we're going to uh, we're going to we're going to head out of here. Here's uh, here's Beth. Good morning, Beth. Hi. Hi, Beth. I have family down in D.C. I've made sure they were all okay first. Uh huh. But my mother works at a Pizza Hut. Delivering pizzas and all that. Uh huh. Um, all of the drivers except two are Middle Eastern. Two of them are members of the PLO, very outspoken about it, and think that this Abu Dhabi, whatever his name is, is like God. They get into this country, they don't have to keep it quiet. Most of them are good. Most of the immigrants WRZK, come here for good purposes. Utica, Rome, classic rock that really rocks. Okay. Sorry. Yep. My mother is stuck in D.C. right now and can't get out of the city. And um, they have cracks. They live four miles from the Pentagon. They got cracks in the walls from the explosion, and it's just unreal. Uh, you know, the only thing is we have to be careful of all across this Number area. Number one, no. This area especially yeah. because there are a lot of people of uh, Arabic of Arab descent. descent. Yeah, most and of them are here for good purposes, and most well, of them. Well, you can't yeah, but don't most say of, it that way. Don't say most, most of, of them. Because most white people aren't yeah. Timothy McVeigh's. Okay, right. 99%. But there's the one that slips through. Yeah, but what are you going to do with that? Are, are yeah. we going to... Are we what gonna if... Let me ask you something. and yeah. our KKKs get to march in these in this country. You can't... We don't want to make the same mistake that was made during World War II when Pearl Harbor occurred, and we put all of these people in concentration camps. You can't do that. There's a part of our freedoms that have to allow let us... Let me tell you something. To, in this, we're a free country. Yep. This is what we have to face. And in this area specifically... The Arab American population is is one of the backbones of this community. One of the more affluent Absolutely. portions of our Absolutely. Let me tell community. you something. It's not, and they are just you. as devastated. They are just as devastated as anybody with a heartbeat is today. I uh, agree with you. I'm saying that <clears throat> you can't present it in today's culture. You can't. You're right. You, you're you absolutely have right. Have one crazy person. And you can't, the, the guy that killed his family, mm -hmm. nobody saw that coming. You don't see you it. You can't present it. All but, you can do now is try to pick up the pieces and not let this turn into the concentration camps of the right. Japanese. And uh, understand that, you know, 99.9% .9 of the people that are here are here for good reason. Right. And you can't hate a people because they have lunatics. You're absolutely right. You can't right. hate That's white right. people because there's lunatic white people. Uh, and every in every race, there's uh, there's good and and there's bad. Right. And you can't put yourself in a position where we begin to say, "Oh, there's another one of them." I wonder if they're uh, a part of this anti-American. Yeah. Right. You know, and remember, most of them are good. Do not forget that in this country, it is okay and legal to be anti-government, yeah. anti-America. You can be. And, and that's what the country is based on. I appreciate your call. We're going to leave. Okay. Uh, Beth, thank you. I just want to go over the cancellations that we have in here. Utica National has, uh, has closed. And also we have uh, APSA Data Corporation, No Second Shift. SUNY Institute of Technology, Utica Rome classes have canceled. Harbor Point uh, Redevelopment Framework 
Uh, plan meeting has been postponed. Mount Markham after school activities canceled. SUNY video conference canceled. The uh, SUNY MCSE open house has been canceled. The Alien Mohawk Pop Warner practices canceled. Uh, Whitesboro after school activities have been canceled as well. Uh, SUNY Utica Rome, Hamilton Central Schools, all after school activities canceled. Uh, Ilian, uh, there's a bunch of others that I'm not going to be able to get to uh, before we get out of here, but you might want to keep track of the television station, uh, News Channel 2 and News Channel 20, which will keep you posted on those uh, cancellations. We're going to join AP Network News. This is WRCK Utica Rome. Also in New York, the Pentagon taking a direct, devastating hit from an aircraft and the enduring symbols of American power being evacuated as an apparent terrorist attack quickly spread fear and chaos in the nation's capital. The nerve center of the nation's military burst into flames. A portion of one side of the five-sided structure collapsed when the plane struck around mid-morning today. An aviation expert calling this uh, terrorism strike perhaps the most audacious terrorist attack that has ever taken place in the world, Lisa. Correspondent Chuck Rice with that. Now let's go live to the Pentagon and my colleague correspondent Thelma Lebrecht. Thelma? Lisa, indeed, that fire is still raging here at the Pentagon and to make matters even worse, authorities have had to battle a continual report of yet other planes coming into the area. Just moments ago they had another report of a plane coming into the area. They were fearful of yet another attack mid-flight and returning to Brussels. In Spain, national carrier Iberia said four scheduled flights from Madrid to the U.S. were in the air and three of them destined to New York, Chicago, and Miami were ordered to return to Spain. The fourth flying from Barcelona to New York was awaiting clearance into Canadian airspace according to an Iberian official. 107 WRCK and now back to Keeler in the Morning. WRCK Utica Rome. <laughs> been one hell of a day. One hell of a day. We have a bunch of cancellations. We really have nowhere else to go. My kids are in school and so is my wife. Yep. <clears throat> so here we are. Uh, obviously by now, actually we're getting trickles of phone calls here from people who are just just learning of this stuff yep. that did not oh, yeah. know what was going on that are calling up and saying what in the hell is going on hearing from other people who are saying that they have family in new york city i've spoken with somebody earlier this morning that uh, that has uh, uh that that has uh, family members that actually work at the world trade center which is no more yeah now the question is um were and and on these out. people's minds, they, they, these are family people. They don't know if their families got out. Yep. That's what we're looking at. Mark is our man uh, out on the road, and Mark is uh, a Herkimer County Community College student. He's down there right now. Good morning, Mark. Hey, guys. Or good going? afternoon, Mark. Yeah, good, good afternoon, afternoon, man. I got So now you're one of those people that had no idea what was going on. I, I had no idea. I had class late today at about 11 o'clock. I woke up. I, you know, I just thought it was a bad hangover day. I turned on the show, and, the, and then I was like, oh, come on, really? I didn't get to hear much of it. I got into school, and it was just crowds of people around the TVs. And I was like, are you kidding me? This is it. That's what happened. It, it, up at the, it's crazy right now up, up at the school. Did kids go to college? Did kids go to classes and that sort of thing? Oh, yeah. Um, they can, mm -hmm. I think they canceled after the uh, evening classes tonight. Yeah. MVCC is still open. Yeah. Uh, Utica and Rome campus, but I guess everything else is Soon closing Utica down. Rome has canceled all their classes. I have a bunch of cancellations. Let me throw them at you. We're going to open up our phone lines and simply with this. Uh, this uh, tragedy has not hit here, but it has. Yeah. It's hit all over the. It's all over the country, but it's hit here a little bit differently. We are very close to New York City. Um, and uh, quite, quite honestly, we're an easy little trip into Washington, D.C. Sure. A lot of people have families. A lot of people are very angry about this. And a lot of people, uh, this is, this is uh, really the, the, the only attack that we've ever seen on, uh, on, our, on our nation like this. On American soil. And right? you know what happens in a world like this. Uh, Democrats and Republicans come together. Those that are foes. Uh, up on Capitol Hill in a situation like this kind of come together in the, for the good of one cause. And that actually happens at radio stations also. Those that might not get along totally uh, 
here at a radio station in a situation like this really do. And Phil Stern has made his way in here, <laughs> who's down the hallway, who will have plenty to talk about later today, but also has been on top of this story in terms of news. And Phil is in here now. Good morning, or good afternoon, Phil. Good afternoon, Bill. <clears throat> and obviously, uh, it was absolutely shocking to me. I, I stopped for my coffee this morning, and the woman you know, behind the counter said, did you hear that the World Trade Center was hit by a plane? And I said, hey, no, I, I didn't hear that. And already the, the radio was on, and then there were some news accounts going on. And I got here to the radio station, and I saw just how bad it was that both towers had been hit. hit and uh, then they were actually collapsing, and it was like something out of a movie, something you just never expect to see in your lifetime. Now, what is the uh, what is the latest on the—last uh, There were at last report, there were four hijacked planes. Right, but the— Two went into the World Trade Center. Correct. Those were one, American flights. One went into the uh, into the Pentagon. One had landed in uh, in Pittsburgh, but now there are reports crash landed in Pittsburgh. Right. Crash landed. We're not sure if they were shot down, if it was a valiant effort by the crew aboard. Uh, nobody knows anything just yet. But are there reports that there are other airplanes involved? Last I had heard, the FAA said uh, that there were planes that they couldn't account for, and given what had happened already earlier today with the hijacked planes, uh, there was reason to believe that there may be more hijacked planes. Uh, obviously, there's, I believe the figure was 4,500 planes in the air at any given time in the United States, so I guess it's hard to get an instantaneous count on each one and exactly what's going on, yeah. especially when you have planes going off the regular flight path, landing wherever they can because that's what they ordered to do. So that's not really firm at the moment, but at least as of an hour or two ago, there was some reason to believe that there might be some more planes up there. Well, the, the confirmation report that I've got is that the two planes that hit the World Trade Center building, the, World, uh, the Twin Towers down there, were both American Airlines flights. They've confirmed that they have lost two aircraft. Uh, U.S. Air has confirmed that one aircraft is down uh, in Summerfield, I believe it is, or Somerset, Somerset Field, uh, Pennsylvania. Somerset Pennsylvania. County. That was theirs. They also said that they have confirmed one more of their planes is down, but they cannot say where it went down. Now, it would, it would seem to me that, knowing every, as everybody does, that there was a plane that went into the Pentagon, it can't seem to me that they're going to say, well, that wasn't our plane that went into the Pentagon, or it was our plane that went into the Pentagon. Yeah. Therefore, I'm assuming that there are five planes down, and that, and that because they're one, you've got still got one flight that's unaccounted for out of those five that we spoke of. Yeah. What do you? Um, I mean, can you imagine what uh, what responsibility the military would have? I mean, it's out of a movie. It, it is. really is. They would have to shoot down one of our yeah. own passenger airlines to prevent it from crashing into a highly populated area. It's out of a movie. I'll tell you what, though. At this point, if they find one that's not responding and they have reason to believe that it's been hijacked. What choice do they have at this they point? They have no exactly. choice. You know? They have no choice. And as, and as devastated as that pilot would be that has to pull the trigger to drop that plane, he really and truly would be a hero. Uh, Major League Baseball has postponed its entire schedule for today. The uh, What would you say, uh, Phil? I heard you talked about Disney had closed um, closed down for the day. Worldwide. Yeah. Worldwide, Worldwide California, Florida, closed and Paris. Closed and evacuated, yeah. And evacuated as well. I have some other uh, – what, what, from, a, from a college standpoint – uh, is that the president making a comment from this L.A.? Let's. Uh, this is actually Louisiana. Video tape, but let's Louisiana. go from Louisiana. Let's go to that. Be defended. All right. I want to reassure the American people that full the full resources of the federal government are working to assist local authorities to save lives and to help the victims of these attacks. Make no mistake. The United States will hunt down and punish those responsible for these cowardly acts. I've been in regular contact with the Vice President, Secretary of Defense, the National Security Team, and my Cabinet. We have taken all appropriate, appropriate security precautions to protect the American people. Our military at home and around the world is on high alert status. And we have taken the necessary security precautions to continue the functions of your government. We have been in touch with the leaders of Congress 
and with world leaders to assure them that we will do what is, whatever is necessary to protect America and Americans. I ask the American people to join me in saying a thanks for all the folks who have been fighting hard to rescue our fellow citizens and to join me in saying a prayer for the victims and their families. The resolve of our great nation is being tested, but make no mistake, we will show the world that we will pass this test. God bless. President George W. Bush. Right, that is uh, the president in uh, Louisiana now. You know what's different about this? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> when this happened in, uh, in, in 1941, uh, Pearl Harbor, they're calling this uh, a Pearl Harbor. The second um, Pearl Harbor. The second Pearl Harbor. One of the things that happened there is our military was taken out. Yep. That hasn't happened here. The goal of these people is simply to inflict pain on this country. That's right. Mm -hmm. that, uh, there's no goal. They're not going to beat us militarily. It seems that they have no desire to get on that road. Yep. Um, their goal is simply to inflict pain on this country. Yeah. Uh, that's exactly it. You're right. I mean, they were taking out the military in preparation for a war. Here, though, I, I think the the uh, comparison is apt in that we were just completely unprepared. We completely were just not expecting it. And it was something that came absolutely out of the blue. And our, our government, unfortunately, this is also a comparison, seems to have absolutely no idea it was coming. Yep. I mean, there seemed to be absolutely no preparation. You know, it's interesting. When the coal was bombed in, um, in the Middle East, everybody said, well, you know, the FBI should have known, the CIA should have known. This is really evidence that perhaps our intelligence organs are not as effective as we thought they are. Well, yeah. I mean, this is the same thing ten times. I mean, you know, we couldn't pick yep. up on this obviously well-orchestrated plot that must have been months in, in the preparation, if not years in the preparation, what does that say about our advance warning of this stuff? Talk about the, uh, virtually the, or is not. the organization. Holy moly. Well, they the, had this down to a, to a science. Yep. Well, the, the, uh, the guys, and I can't tell you what their names are, but the ones that were uh, accused and uh, convicted back uh, from the 1993 bombing of the World Trade Center, uh, according to one report on NBC this morning, this was part of that guy's plan. I mean, this guy had various plans set up in his apartment, and this was one of them, mm -hmm. to hide the, 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 the greatest weapon in the world is an airplane and somebody that, that doesn't mind dying on it, yeah. to hijack these airplanes and stick them into the World Trade Center, stick them into the Pentagon, the White House, stick them into, you know, and just, as you said, to do nothing other than to inflict pain and terror on, a, on a, a civilian population. What is, uh, Mark is over at Herkimer County Community College. So uh, they're actually, he had said they closed somewhat. HCCC is closing at 5 p.m. Are you there, Mark? Yeah, hi, guys. But I'm assuming you don't see a lot of kids heading off to, uh, heading off to classes. Well, it, you know, the thing is that you do, we still attended classes, but a lot of our, our teachers have said, you know what, that's all we're going to talk about today anyway. Yeah. You go home. Do what you have to do. Watch the TV. You know, see what's going on. But uh, it's, 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 there's a lot of different opinions up there. All right, Mark. We appreciate it, man. Hey guys, no problem. If you ever need me, you got my number now. So we have your off. number. Thanks, All right. Bud. We may need hmm. you for the military, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Thank you, Mark. Uh, you know, uh, here are some of those cancellations that we have, and because uh, this becomes an issue wherever, where it's at this workplace, nobody's getting anything nobody's done doing here no. today, anything. or anywhere. You look out on the streets; it's quiet out yeah. there, because uh, uh, this is everybody's glued to the uh, to the television or to the radio or whatever form way they can get the Observer Dispatch to now. They're going to have a special edition out today at 3 o'clock. They'll have that out. So Quite Valley has canceled all after-school activities. Holland Patton, all after-school activities. Major League Baseball has canceled all games today. Any situation where you might worry about, like a Major League Baseball game, where you may be putting yourself in a position where it would be a, a good spot for a terrorist or a copycat, how much does this, uh, this give certain people incentive to do, uh, to, to, these right, haters yeah. to try to, to, to take advantage of this situation. The, the Timothy McVeigh's of the world. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Midtown Neighborhood Association is canceled tonight at 7 o'clock. St. Francis de Sales, uh, Waterville after school activities have I been know uh, canceled for today. All Whitesboro after school activities have been canceled. This as is well. a new as well list. as Mount Markham. 
Uh, I'll give you what I have on the new list. HCCC is closing at 5. Westmoreland Central School, all after-school activities uh, and programs are canceled. Rome and Utica campuses of MV are closed for the rest of today. That is all classes and offices. Holland Patton after-school activities. Sequoia Valley, all after-school activities. Poland Central School, all afternoon activities. <coughs> Eriskany Central Schools have closed. Utica Public Library, Midtown Neighborhood Association meeting at 7 p.m. at St. Francis de Sales Church. And Waterville Central School, all activities, uh, after-school activities as well. We're just trying to keep track of as many of these that actually come in. Um, the drinking driver class held at the Mark Valley Council on Alcoholism and Addictions, 214 at Riskini Boulevard, Whitesboro, has been canceled for, uh, for today. Federated Church of uh, West Winfield, prayer vigil at 7 p.m. Oh, they're going to have a prayer vigil tonight at uh, 7 p.m. They say a lot of the flights, and Phil, you might know more about this than, than, than we do, a lot of the flights that were up in the air when the FAA this morning suspended all operations, shutting down all airports. Yep. Uh, a lot of those flights were diverted to Syracuse. Is that true? That's what I understand, yeah, that, that Syracuse was uh, designated one of the places uh, where they would come in and land. Uh, as I understand it, there are no flights taking off at all. Everything is down. If you did have a flight, if you did have somewhere you were going to fly, it's, it's just not going to happen today. Harbor Point Redevelopment Framework Plan, originally scheduled for today between uh, 6 and 7.30. Uh, the Common Council Chamber, first floor. Uh, one Kennedy over at City Hall has been uh, has been postponed until a later date. They're gonna they're gonna redo that. I guess what we would do now is if you wanted to get, uh, you know, are you in a situation where this has affected you locally? Uh, do you have family down there? Have you had to call down there and reach family members? We'd take your phone calls here. I at, had to call uh, down to my father. My father <coughs> you did was have in New York, yeah, in New York a, City. Yeah, he's an attorney in New York, and I and I called down there after the plane strike but before the towers collapsed and after the towers collapsed you saw that big cloud of smoke going over all over sure. lower manhattan i was like wow what would my, it be uh, like to be there right now my sister-in-law my wife's sister is uh, lives down in manhattan on central park west and she said when she went out and when she went outside of her apartment building today that it was it, as you said earlier it was just like a scene out of a movie there were no buses running there were no taxi cabs running there's no subways running and what you saw was people just thousands of people more than you'd ever seen in new yep. york city just walking away from the world trade center area but what you did see where you saw very frantic people trying to go the other way, trying to go towards the World Trade to see Center. see if they could find family, they could find or, family or friends yeah. that were down in that area. Pretty incredible. Man, I, well, I, we and the other thing, too. talked about New York City being so vulnerable. Man, know, it is vulnerable. You have to remember, too, the people in New York, they, they're not getting a lot of this, especially the people in that World Trade Center area yeah. are not getting any TV. They're not getting any radio. They're not getting any anything. So, I mean, to them, they're just in sheer fright and panic as to what's going on. You know? Most of the antennas were on top of the World Trade yeah. Center, weren't they? Yeah. Yeah, I would imagine, uh, yeah, radio has yeah. just been pretty much... Uh, pretty much, yeah. Uh, I know that a portion of them are on the Trade Center, a portion are on the Empire State Building. So the towers go, and so goes the uh, go the broadcast. That's right. So we'll take some phone calls if you'd like at 793-1073. We're on the air for a little bit. We'll work in with, the, with some of the networks. I like to flip around and uh, see what some of the other networks are doing, and we can do that now. Uh, uh, I guess we'd start with NBC. They're going over the fact of some of the cancellations. Uh, the implications of this are are very significant. Although, try something else. Try uh, CNN, because I don't know what he's uh, what he's doing here. We were wondering earlier, what are they going to call this? It's got to have a title. America, America, uh, under, attack. America, uh, America under, attack. under Attack seems to be the title everybody's given. If any of us, like myself, who worked in the word World Trade Center, I was there in the last bombing, as I mentioned. This is... Uh, uh, Richard Holbrook, former U.S. envoy. Number of people in that area, including the Chamber Street subway stop, which goes right under the World Trade Center, uh, means that the dimensions of it exceed by a factor of it. Probably now, those not. pictures right there that are showing there, uh, as they they seem to be uh, fire hoses uh, spraying out a fire, is that the Pentagon? Yes. I believe it is. Yes. Do you see the crevice? I mean, that that it's plane a big chunk it went out of the side just of it. Took a chunk out of the. Well, if you uh, remember the how the how, how the Pentagon is set up, the Pentagon is set up as a series of rings within right. rings, right? Um, so that it's easy to get from one side of this huge complex to the other side relatively quickly by going through tunnels through the through the center of the complex, and the plane went, the plane that hit the Pentagon went straight through to the very inner ring. The very inner building in that circle has been damaged by this plane. Uh, we'll join uh, Fox the here. Chat rooms talking about threats against the United States. But in terms of actual training for Osama bin Laden, he does own a number of uh, planes 
also train specific pilots to actually be able to carry out these type of attacks. And this is something that uh, intelligence sources are saying, that they were aware he was doing this type of training, not necessarily to attack the U.S., but to train for suicide attacks on planes and other mechanisms. He also, as we know, is believed to be behind the attack of the USS Cole. And, of course, that was someone who came up on a boat and planned a suicide attack in that mechanism. They do believe, however, um, if he is connected to this, and, again, this is just a strong possibility that they're looking at, that he would have been augmented by another group. They said that, um, of course, he has widespread tentacles across the world and has followers across the world. And among the possibilities that could have uh, that they're looking at right now is augmenting would have been a Palestinian group and also the Hezbollah. All right, you want to hear the... Uh, I don't know if this pisses anybody off a little bit, but um, uh, they are they are in certain parts of the world right now. They are celebrating. Yeah. They are celebrating. They are... They're handing out candy in different parts of the world. They're celebrating. This is like they've... Their their major enemy, the, the the curse on the world, the United States, you know, has been attacked. I'll tell you, if this Osama bin Laden guy... It, if they, they wind up finding out later on, six months, six years down the line, that he had nothing to do with this, I honestly don't care. They know they can tie him to enough stuff, including the USS Cole yeah. incident in the Middle East earlier. What they got to do is they got to just start, if they can't find him, they got to start taking out his family. They got, okay, your mom's gone, your brother's gone, your sister. I mean, just start killing everybody that's close to him until either he gives it up or until he gives up whoever did it. Here's Fran two. on the uh, on the phone lines. We'll take a few calls. Uh, we're not going to go you know long with this, but... You know, it, this is this is just hitting everybody. Yeah. Uh, seven nine three one zero seven three is our phone number. We'll start here with Fran. Good morning, Fran. How you doing, Bill? Good. How you doing, man? I, I figured the lines would be uh, right full. Well, you know what? Uh, uh, this is a, a scatter to the. Uh, I, I I don't know what to think. This is I, I couldn't tell you based on experience because we've never done this before. You what? know, I I I don't like to see everybody panic and everything, but I mean, I you know, like my kids at school. If something else happens, you know, worse than what already has, I mean, don't you want your kids with you? I can't yeah. believe the schools aren't closed. Well, I don't, um, I, I mean, I don't think the answer you know, is to close of, schools. Yeah, there's, you know, there's a lot of there's a lot of things that, that would have to happen in order for that to happen. I mean, you got a lot of parents that are still out working. Yep, I mean, kids, yep. You know, how do you And not to mention and so the on. fact that we're not in a terrorist hotspot. Right. And the other thing is, too, is I don't know if little kids are really going to get are going to realize exactly the depth of what's going on here. You know, I mean, if the kids are with the parents, it's it's more for the See, parents' uh, comfort. Earlier, Kate yeah, said... Ba basically, we're at war. Well, this I is... You ask me, this is wish war. So. I hope that that's we what happens so. here. Well, this is war, and, and I mean, we've all talked about this. Yeah. This is the... this In Vietnam, how do... The, are we being such a military might? Why don't we just pounce on them and win that war? Yep. Well, yeah. it was a different war. This is a different war. Yeah. This is what we're at, and this is a war on terrorism. There isn't going to be. It's just bad. We weren't even ready for this. I mean, you know, they they've cut our military so much that we're not even. I don't think we're even considered a threat anymore. I yeah. mean, it, it's too bad. Uh, Fran, I appreciate the phone call, man. All right, take care. Thank Good you. luck out there. And here's, a, and, but I think Frank is, uh, is is right. I think little kids, my kids, seven, eight years old. You say they're going to remember this. There might be parts that might be remembered, but, I, I, but I, I, I don't think that my kids are old enough. But somebody who's 10, 11, 12 years old, they're going to see the news, and they're going to be, I mean, this is, yeah. this is, a, this is JFK. With your kids, what I mean is this is the first major thing uh -huh. to happen in their lives. As they grow older, it will become more prominent in their minds that, yes, they were around. They will remember. You're right. You know, when I was six, I didn't remember Kennedy dying, but when I was ten, I remembered yep. it because you you learn more yep. and more about yeah, it. You hear more talk about it. Here's uh, here's Continues. John. John, good morning. How you doing? Or good, good e afternoon. I'm sorry. Uh, I think Frank's right. You're right. We should drop a bomb on them, kill the babies, kill them all. Every oh. single one of them. They should, they yeah. should die. Yeah. Every one of them. Well, I, I think that uh, the troops blow the whole goddamn place up and come back home. I, I think that that makes that, that's the way you feel, isn't it? That's the, what we should do. That's the way the you poll, feel. I guarantee, if we took a poll, we'd win. How do you uh, how, how do you handle the um, uh, how how do you uh, how do you handle the the thought so that we do not turn around and repeat what was done in World War II with uh, with Pearl Harbor, where anybody of you know if it turns out that it is uh, you know 
we can narrow it down to a certain race of people. Right. If it's uh, Palestinians, if it, Kill them all. If, but you know the problem comes in when all of a sudden people in this country begin to be looked at funny. Yeah. I don't think I was racist until today. Yeah, uh, I ain't I don't, kidding you. I think it creates racism. I, I think mean, it really, I really does. I don't think I was. Now, yeah. well, I guess I am just from them. Kill all of them. I could care less. Yeah. The ones that are here, kill them too. Well, oh, my, wow. my, well, you can't do that, and you, and, and, you, and you don't even want to say that because and, there is much bothered right. by this. And you know what? How many of those, what should be done is take a look at the number of people inside that uh, that trade center. Yep. And, and look at the races of all of those people. I'll bet you you're going to be amazed yeah. to find that it was every race, color, and creed Absolutely. that you could. And those are all mourning families yep. that are victims just because of some nuts in the world and a small population of the world that, that, is, uh, that, that would rather, that would die to become some religious martyr for the rest yeah. of the world. You know, John, the way you have to look at it is, I mean, if these were, if this is found out to be Irish terrorists that have done this. I mean, I'm Irish. I'm Irish. You know what I'm saying? I, I mean, I, I would have no problem. I would have no problem with doing whatever the hell you had to do to Ireland or exactly. and or anybody else in order to straighten it out. But you can't say that you can take an entire race of people and 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 just you know wipe them out like that. You know what I mean? Uh, I'm just you know. You're as frustrated as we all are. Bad. It, 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 it's a very hard to uh, hard thing to handle. I think the people that are right, going to thank you, John. Yeah, thanks, John. That may feel the worst about this is once it's found out who is responsible. The people that are related to that nationality are the one that live here, that have become citizens of the yeah. U.S. or are working at that. Those are the ones that I'm going to feel bad for because yeah. well, they will the, be blamed because purely because of their nationality. And the problem is, you and know, when when Timothy McVeigh blew up the Oklahoma City uh, Federal Building, yep, the you building. didn't have people running around saying, you know, those you know those white Protestants. Let me just tell you something. I, I know some. I know some of them. Oh, you got yeah. you got to watch them. You got to. I hate them all. I hate them all. You can't. You, you don't can't. do that. But now, all of a sudden, it might be somebody from a Bin Laden and right. uh, and, uh, and 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 who knows who or what what race of people, yep. what country involved. Um, but I, I got to tell you, though, I believe we need to our our response needs to be a very strong response. Well, you know what it is? It's time after time after time after time after time. We keep getting slapped in the face by by these terrorists. I mean, go back as far as to the Reagan administration, for gosh sakes. How many, I mean, there was a couple of incidents, one in Africa and I believe one in Germany, where X number of Marines were killed by terrorist bombings. We honestly don't know, I mean, you can't tell me, nobody in this radio can tell me, if we ever prosecuted anybody or yep. did anybody ever yep. pay for those things. Yep. The USS Cole, we've heard every news organization in the world say that the people that are responsible for the USS Cole, which was just this past year, uh, can be tied to this Osama bin Laden guy. But yet nobody is ever prosecuted. Nobody was ever killed. No, there, and if you want, it's the same thing with the death penalty. You want to call it retaliation. Yep. You want to call it revenge. Call it whatever you want to. It, somebody wants it. We want it. Uh, a few cancellations. Voting today, statewide, canceled. Mount Markham after school activities have been canceled. Uh, Northern Community uh, Pop Warner and cheerleading uh, program has been canceled. The South Lewis High School is, uh, is going to be dismissing at 2.10 p.m. The elementary at 3 o'clock and all after school activities gone. MVCC at offices and classes all canceled. HCCC is closing at 5. VVS after school activities gone. New Hartford after school activities have been canceled. Clinton after school activities have been canceled as well. Same deal with Sequoia Valley Central school activities have been canceled. Camden Central's after school activities canceled. Notre Dame after school activities have been canceled. Whitesboro after school activities canceled. Little Falls Youth Football Program has been canceled. Westmoreland Central School, all activities have been canceled. New Hartford Youth Hockey has been canceled. Remsen after school activities have been canceled. Oriskany after school activities have been canceled as well. Oneida Madison Bosey's adult evening classes have been canceled. New York Mills Public Library is closed. New York Mills Village Board Meeting has been canceled. The Village of Oriskany Board Meeting has been canceled as well. The list goes on and on and on of cancellations and delays. Rome Catholic after school activities have been canceled. Oneana schools, after-school activities have been canceled. Brookfield Central's after-school activities 
canceled. Clark Mills Annunciation Church, no religious ed classes going on today. Ilian Central School, no after school activities. Proctor High School, night school has been canceled. Uh, we're in a uh, we're we're in a situation where you know what you're not going to get anybody to show up for these events, right? Uh, just because this is uh, this is just affecting everybody. This is a national tragedy. Do you know how many people have families that actually are in New York City or in D.C. that are working in New York City? Yeah. That people who have families uh, uh, that actually work at the World Trade Center. This is a national disaster, and you yeah. won't know until. Uh, until a couple of days out, when people begin losing contact with family members, how long is it going to take them well, to, to dig and find the people who are, are deceased in that World long, Trade Center? How long till we can get contact with New York City? There's so many phone lines down. How long, even if your family member doesn't work at the World Trade Center, how long till you know that they were okay when they walked past the building this we'll, morning on their way to we'll, work? We'll take some of your calls on this as we move along here. We'll start with uh, Tulio. Good morning, Tulio. Hey, Bill, listen, guys. Good you afternoon, know, we, Tulio. Sorry, I keep saying good morning. Well, no problem. We've talked about a lot of stuff. Uh, this has totally rocked me. Ninety percent of my family is down in the city. Sure. Yeah. I have not been able to reach most of them, so I don't know what's going on, but the, the thing that keeps sticking in my head is with this World Trade Center, one, you have the sentencing of this guy tomorrow that was supposedly in a building near the World Trade Center, and something that I'm very curious about, the New York Stock Exchange. Mm -hmm. the New York Stock Exchange. See, people are talking about planning. They well, closed. one of the way to create total chaos, the New York Stock Exchange was in the World Trade Center. Yeah. Well, they closed. Obviously, yeah. but what I'm trying to say is... The yeah, the Stock Exchange is down a ways. Right, there. it's not in the yeah. building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but what I'm trying to say is that a lot of the lines. Oh, and a absolutely. Lot of the things, they, they, well, they had to shut down. They had no choice yep. because uh, I mean, you're you're, you know, and and down there, you got to understand that it's a there's zero visibility down there with the smoke and everything else. Yeah. There, especially this morning, there was zero visibility. Right. Uh, it was. Uh, this is a, this is a national disaster, and what a perfect target. But New York City, it's so consolidated. But the other thing that really gets me, I mean, you heard about Star Wars, and you heard about all of these defense systems and everything else like that. You know, the World Trade Center, I can understand that being overlooked. You're talking about a plane that flew into the Pentagon. Yeah. I mean, with all the radar and the army systems and security systems and advanced I, technology. You're right. I don't know. Uh, how does it happen? And, and 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 not just like a little Piper plane, a plane. It could easily have been the uh, been the White House. Uh, the yeah. president could have been. We don't even know who was inside the Pentagon and and who has been injured or or killed inside there. And it's just and and and, and my stomach dropped. I, I don't know how many people have ever physically seen the World Trade Center up close. Obviously, being raised mm -hmm. in the city. These are enormous, I mean, Bill, the size of these. Oh, yes. You I, could not possibly fathom. And to think of a building like that collapsing, and I, I, I hate the fact that I was partially right this morning when I, we, we were talking about the elevators, explaining how most of those yeah. people were trapped and couldn't get out. And to watch it actually uh, just disintegrate right before your very eyes is something I, I, um, I, 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 I don't know that I've ever seen a sight so disastrous in my life. Uh, Tulia, i got to take this call here. I appreciate it. Uh, we'll be on for a little bit, so call us. No problem. Uh, Joe, Mayor Joe Griffo, a, was in Rome. Where are you today, Mayor? I'm in New York City, Bill. In oh New God. York City, oh Mayor God. Joe Griffo. We are actually about two miles away from the oh site right God. now. We're on the 45th floor of a building on 7th Ave. And, uh, have, uh, we were on the streets uh, this morning when... Uh, Fires began. Are you in? So you're in. Uh, you're in Midtown. We're in Midtown. Yeah, about two miles away from the actual uh, oh. catastrophe. Uh, were you there for it this morning? As it occurred, as we it happened? were. Yeah, we were on the street though, and just saw the. You know, we were in uh, ready for a tax anticipation note sale here today. Uh huh. Yeah, uh, for the city. And, yeah. Uh, we're down. Uh, we first learned uh, for the when the first plane crashed uh, before we left the hotel room, and then as we were walking down. Uh, Sixth Ave, you could just see the uh, when one of the uh, towers began to fall. You actually saw it. Pretty from, incredible. From a distance. Yeah. Uh, how does this? Uh, how does uh, you know this? I guess this is the most vulnerable that we are when it comes to our own uh, terrorism. It's We've been terrible. talking about it for years. Yeah, the city is is very surreal right now. Essentially, you know, everything is pretty much stopped. Subways, everything. Uh, you cannot leave the city at this point in time. Uh, people are actually. Uh, you hear car radios on, TVs everywhere in the stores, and people are just gathering actually in the streets. It's, it's 
amazing. You could see people like walking in the middle of like Seventh Ave and Sixth Ave and things of that nature. But there's a calmness here. It's almost a surreal calmness. It is. Uh, it is as if we are watching a movie. Yeah. Uh, it reminds me of that I mean, movie, The Day After. The Day After, yeah. After yep. the nuclear bomb hits. Yep. That's it, what New York City looks like now. Exactly. It's just horrific. It is just mm-hmm. a, uh, you know, we were discussing it, and it appears, you know, the way the acts were conducted right now, that it, it was more uh, symbolic than strategic. Yeah. You know, in the sense that, you know, the city is, is basically shut down, but uh-huh. still functioning. Right. You know, and, and Well, we talked about it as they're comparing this to uh, Pearl Harbor. Mm-hmm. Well, Pearl Harbor had the Japanese continued uh, to push eastward and across the uh, the west coast, God knows they they may have made it to uh, to Chicago before we could have stopped them. Um, here it's a different deal. It seems to be totally symbolic as to simply inflict pain because they haven't harmed our, our military. Our might is still there, yep. but they've, they've hit us where it hurts. Yeah, I think this is, I mean, it's just right now the horrendous loss of life. It's just, it's a very emotional experience uh, in the city right now. They're uh, people, you know, that are really just distraught, you know, and concerned about people that they may know that may be in that area. And uh, there are uh, blood banks opening everywhere right now. Uh, it looks like the uh, casualties will be in the thousands here. It is, uh, they say, at any given time there could be, uh, and what kind of a crowd could be inside the uh, the World Trade Center? We were hearing figures of 50,000 people. Uh, could, 150,000. Uh, work. Yeah, 50,000 people work in the World Trade Center. And 150,000 visit. Right. 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 But I mean, 150,000 in a day. Oh. But uh, at any given time, yeah. any given moment, there, you could be looking at, uh, at you know, 20,000, 30,000, 50,000 people population inside the building. Yeah. Um, just in, incredible, and to see that uh, that occur. Uh, what is? Uh, I mean, our our radio. I, I we were told that radio stations. Most of the radio stations oh, had thank you. had their their towers on top of the World Trade Center. So half the radio has been shut down yeah. in New York City. There, it has, but there are a lot of stations that, as I said, if you're on the street right now, basically everybody is gathered around uh, wherever there is a radio. It's on, and you can yeah. hear broadcast as well as the. Vehicles like cabs have their windows open, and it's just kind of a, a strange feeling that every car has a radio on and yeah. hearing reports. And then every TV, particularly around Times Square, obviously the big uh, Panasonic screen. And oh, the, the Jumbotron. Just, yep. Yeah, are all gathered, and it's just one of those uh, very, as I said, it's kind of almost uh, surreal. You know, we had a uh, phone call this morning, uh, Joe, from uh, from a lady that is in the uh, Southport area, the Seaport area. Mm-hmm. And uh, as she was speaking with us, telling us that she'd actually witnessed it, her building is right near the World Trade Center. As she's talking to us about it, uh, the Trade Center uh, imploded and yeah. collapsed. And uh, and at the very second that that happened, her line was cut off. I got to tell you something. I don't think I've ever had such chills yeah. go up my spine as, as that yeah. happened there. The uh, I mean, there's there's sirens everywhere. You know, it's kind of like all you hear. It's almost kind of like you know, in a war zone. And as you see, we're seeing the white smoke billowing right here. <laughs> Construction workers are uh, just standing in the scaffolding that they're working on, just yeah. just looking in dismay uh, at, at you know the scene. And it's just you know across, like I say, you're still a couple of miles away, and yet there's this, uh, this sense of awe that uh, everyone has that this really this tragedy actually has happened. I mean, you know, last night we arrived here last night, and you saw the, the splendor of those two buildings, you know, and then. Today you look and there's just white smoke billowing right now. Yeah. Uh, has the I, uh, has the National Guard been mobilized down there, Bear? No, it, it appears right now that it, they're on a, a full alert. That the the uh, in fact some of the the loss of life, uh, the, the horror continues. That all the rescue workers, the police and firemen yes. who were in that in that area right when now. When it collapsed. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, so we uh, right now there's just there's a, a police everywhere and. It did not appear. No, they did not uh, mobilize anything. They don't, although, they're not saying although, where Mayor Giuliani is, but I guess he's given a press conference already, and the governor's down here also. They do say that the uh, that fighter jets are patrolling the airways over New York City. Yeah, we don't see anything. We're actually high right now and don't see yeah. anything in the air, not even helicopters near this area. Wow. I think they've really kind of stopped everything in the air, actually, unless there are military. I understand that the... Uh, the Navy is sending up one of the air, aircraft carriers to be uh, put outside in the harbor here right now. There's two of them being just, sent. Just incredible. Just I, I, I mean, it is a state of war. You're right. I mean, I would is. liken this yep. to that, you know, this is war, and yep. it's just that it's a, a 
a cowardly act by you know a faceless coward right now, but I know we'll find this uh, out who it is. And uh, but right now, I think there's just dismay, shock, uh, and uh, the first thing is to take care of the people that that still uh, that are injured and that still may be alive, if at all, and then also to ensure security across the land, really to to allay people's concerns that you know that something may happen in the next 20 minutes again. Now, Joe, how do we? Uh, how do we? Um how do, I hate to say, but how do we protect ourselves? This is a very difficult thing to protect against. I mean, but I mean, it, there's going to be a lot of questions that need to be answered. And today, I don't think we want to start second guessing anybody until yeah. you know we want to take care of the problem and and take care of the, the people right now, and also try to ensure that our security is beefed up now. And then after, once we get the answers to what took place and why, I think uh, there are a lot of things. You know, you're talking about four hijackings that yeah. you know this had to be a lot more extensive than. Mm-hmm. Uh, just didn't happen overnight, you know, and it's amazing that we didn't get some type of uh, detect anything, you know, at some point in this process. They're showing uh, shots of down near the uh, the the uh, World Trade Center where it used to be. Yeah. They're showing shots of just what looks like a war zone. It almost it looks as if we're looking at Beirut or looking Bosnia. at uh, Bosnia. Just a war zone of fire trucks that were destroyed, and, and it's a flattened out I mean, is that New York City? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's amazing. Yes. And, and that is a, New York City. But 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 also, I mean, the strength of the of the city and the nation is that you look everywhere else around, as I told you, and people are still out, and uh, and there. Business, are, I mean, it's amazing how, you know, in this country, it really is amazing how all of uh, how just life goes on. Then you know, I mean, as hard as this is this is and difficult to deal with, life continues to to go on. Yep. And uh, the country continues to operate. And I think that's the strength of the country. Yeah. And that's what the president was trying to impress upon that. You know, we'll deal with this as a, this, this crisis, this tragedy, uh, but uh, it's, it's not going to change the democracy and, and our nation. You know, I, we'll, we'll get through this. This is a great test, but we'll pass the test, as he said. And I think that was a great statement. Now, when will you be back here, uh, Joe? We were scheduled to be back this afternoon, but uh, we're trying to assess the situation, and we're hopeful that we'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, as of right now, all the trains, we took a train in late yesterday, mm-hmm. and as of right now, uh, nothing is moving uh, out of the city right now. In fact, they're considering reopening some of the bridges uh, this afternoon because they will have to get the transportation network moving again uh, at some point in time. And, uh, and I'm assuming this time the, the fears are... Uh, this is not a two-phase plan. Yep. How would we react to the airplane? Well, we're going to shut down the airports. We're going right. to do this. We're going to do that. Uh, and your hope is that they haven't had a phase B, right. uh, a plan B, yep. uh, to uh, uh, to inflict even more. But, I, 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 again, it, it seems as if the pain is it's simply trying to inflict pain on this country and to hit us. Uh, where, where it hurts most. Well, well, they've done that. I mean, as you said, I think people are likening this to uh, Pearl Harbor, I think that's an appropriate assessment. I mean, we were obviously caught off guard, and there will be horrific uh, loss of life. And, uh, and and then from a symbolic standpoint, you know, this was a building that was hit in 1993, and here we are now that it, it's, it, I'm telling you, Bill, the amazing part is you know it because you've seen it in the past. Yeah. To be here last night and to see these, this building standing and to be here the next morning, and it's down. Gone. With, uh, with the, and, and with so many people dead, it's just uh, as I said, it's it's really uh, it's almost it's undescribable actually. You know, well, you have to you just have incredible. To, you have to think of the. Uh, I know it's a it's an old adage, but there, but for the grace of God, I mean, Mayor Julian stayed in the hotel in the World Trade Center less than a month ago. Uh-huh. Mayor Griffo could have very easily have been there this morning. Correct. Uh, and think of the people. Uh, one of the things we're getting here at home is uh, dealing with is a lot of people have family, yep. uh, friends, family, children, uh, young kids. Uh, you know, you know, family here with a with a 22 year old is working down at the uh, World Trade Center. Uh, they have no contact with their family members right now. They have no idea if those people are alive. Yep. Yeah, no, I, I think right now it's almost impossible to make determinations unless you are alive and have been able to reach contact. The other. Uh, thing is the phones are really disrupted here right now. The cell phones essentially are non-existent. Uh, they, bar- they will not work. Uh, we've tried to use that, and it's, it's many of the towers were in that area on some of those large buildings. Mm-hmm. And uh, so the landlines at least are functioning now, which is a credit, I think, to the infrastructure here too. But uh, it's very difficult, and, and I think right now 
it's going to be a while before people really start learning, you know, how many and who, uh, unfortunately. Yeah. Uh, Joe, we thank you for your call. We wish yeah. you the best down there, and we'll uh, certainly talk with you when you get back here. Okay, very good. Thank uh, you, Bill and Frank. Thank Thanks. you so much. Be safe, Joe. Mayor, right, uh, Mayor Joe Griffo in New York City this morning for this. He arrived last night. He's in the city and was there just uh, just a walk away from the World Trade Center, staying in the lower midtown area of Manhattan, <laughs> uh, able to see the smoke, able to see the... Uh, uh, and actually walking towards walking towards the World Trade Center. Uh, when this had started to be just a simple accident, it, was, it looked as if it might have been a simple accident where an airplane, a tragic accident, but uh, just a simple accident where an airplane had crashed into one of the towers of the World Trade Center. And by the time uh, uh, the mayor was walking down, uh, headed towards the, uh, the lower part of Manhattan, they were able to actually see the second uh, uh, crash into the into the World Trade Center later to see both of those towers collapse is a sight that um, uh, it makes the uh, the explosion of the uh, of the space shuttle Challenger look like just one of those little everyday events. It pales in comparison. It really does. Never seen anything like it in my life. We'll uh, come back to this in a second. It's at twelve before two o'clock. It is Keeler in the morning on and bit in the afternoon. Um, Probably the worst tragedy we've ever dealt with in yeah. in, uh, in our lifetime. Uh, we'll move on. Come back here in a second. It's uh, I have a bunch of cancellations to get into and some other people that were down that way as well. If you have, I know there were a few people that were waiting on the lines, and I went with, uh, with Joe uh, because, well, for obvious reasons. Uh, I'll take you in a second. I believe it was Pete or one of the guys that was in the military. Uh, we lost your call, and I'd like you to call back because he certainly has some opinion. The other thing is to make sure that we don't turn this into a, uh, you know, you're going to be, there's a lot of hatred with this, yep. especially with the, the guy we talked to earlier said he thinks that he'd lost his brother in the, uh, yep. in the, uh, in, in the, the mishap in New York City. But you don't want to turn it into a, a hatred of people That's or right. races. Um, I only just remind you that we didn't start hating, you know, skinhead-looking white guys um, and, and wanting white guys killed when Timothy McVeigh blew up that Oklahoma City uh, federal building. I'll do this. It's Keeler in the Morning, 107 WRCK. Life's a trip. Make the most of it with a new Honda from Carbone Honda during the 2001 Honda clearance. Now through September 30th, save the most with Carbone Honda's incredible end-of-model year discounts. Get your best deal of the year on a new Honda CRV packed with safety features and four-wheel drive performance or a new Honda Civic for fuel efficiency and outstanding safety. Every new 2001 Honda is discounted, but only until September 30th. Save the most right now at Carbone Honda, where superior assistance and customers support our standard equipment. Check out the new 2002s arriving daily, including the Honda Odyssey, named best minivan by Automobile Magazine. Or shop Carbone Honda's pre-owned selection and drive with confidence. Every 96 model year or newer certified pre-owned Honda comes with Carbone's incredible 7-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Life's a trip. Make the most of it. But hurry, the 2001 Honda clearance is only through September 30th at Carbone Honda. Commercial Drive Yorkville and online at CarboneHonda.com. Hello, Human Resources. Hi, saw your newspaper ad for a systems data coordinator? Yes. Uh, would I be coordinating everybody's dates or just your dates? It's data, not dates. Oh, okay. So what's your answer? Forget newspaper classifieds. Instead, go to centralnewyorkhelpwanted.com. Recruit on centralnewyorkhelpwanted.com. Get free access to every resume posted. Find a qualified someone and begin correspondence. Or do it the newspaper way. The classified ad is for an environmental hydrogeologist planner. I'd be interested in that. You have a science background? No, I was a high school football coach, but I parked next to the science teacher. Oh. And with centralnewyorkhelpwanted.com, you place your ad now. It gets on the site now. You get responses 24 hours a day seven days a week. I'm inquiring about your construction job position. You have experience? I once made a birdhouse with popsicle sticks and a glue gun. Does that count? Employers have never had it so good. Not just Help Wanted, centralnewyorkhelpwanted.com. Yep, long name, amazing results. 107 WRCK. You're a business owner. To continue your growth, you need new customers. So it's up to you to find them and to make sure the correct message reaches them. 
Guess what? Thousands of potential customers are shopping daily for products and services in the Trans Western Oneida and Herkimer County Yellow Pages. You know them, the big phone book. Trans Western Publishing, producers of the Oneida and Herkimer County Yellow Pages, offers one of the absolute best returns on your advertising dollar by getting your business in front of every resident and every business in the county. Let potential customers find you with countywide exposure, larger ads, and lower prices. Call today, 736-7780, and let one of them help you create a program that attracts new customers at an investment you can afford. It's simple. One book, one ad, one price. Don't whisper when you can shout. Call 736-7780. Don't miss this opportunity. Call today, 736-7780. Oh yeah. Hit a home run with Hess Express, the store with more. Just head to the nearest Hess Express and register to win a trip for two to the World Series. Complete with round trip transportation, hotel accommodations, and tickets to a World Series game. Better. Hess Express is throwing lots of great specials your way. Like two 12 packs of Coca-Cola for five dollars. If you're a Pepsi drinker, Hess Express has two liters of Pepsi for only two bucks. If you drink Canadian beer, Hess Express is the place for you. Molson 12 packs are only six ninety nine, and 12 packs will bat are only seven forty nine. And milk drinkers, gallons of Upstate Farms milk is only $1.99. And don't forget to grab a fresh cup of Mountain Top coffee, roasted exclusively for Ask Express. Yay! Plus, buy one large Godfather's cheese pizza and you'll get one free. Two 12 packs of Coca Cola for $5. If you're a Pepsi drinker, Hess Express has two liters of Pepsi for only two bucks. That's right, and it's all Hess Express. Stop in now and register to win a trip for two to the World Series from Hess Express. Cover all the bases with a trip to Hess Express. The store with more. Hess Express, the store with more. Welcome to the Psychic Hotline. Let Madame Natasha reveal your future. Um, hi. Hello. Hi. I was wondering if I'll ever fall in love. Describe your... Okay, and now back to Keeler in the Morning. I don't know if we're regularly scheduled programs, but they haven't given us the word to get out of the studio yet, so we're still here. Uh, I have uh, Michael on the phone line here right now. Mike has some military experience and had something to say, and we lost him in the midst of uh, uh, reaching Mayor Griffo who was in New York City when this happened and is there right now. And that was just an amazing uh, an amazing opportunity to be able to talk with him down there. Yeah. Uh, Michael, good morning. Good morning. Uh, tell us what you know. I mean, Frank had made a comment a little bit earlier that there, there's been no retaliation for certain things that have happened. Well, he had mentioned that, uh, in that there was in 1986, there was, there was a discotheque that was bombed in Germany, and uh, that was traced back to the Libyans. On an April 12, 1986, there was an airstrike against Gaddafi at his palace. Um, one of his sons was killed in that strike. Uh huh. And that was, um, I mean, that was a, a, a well publicized. Yeah, that was that, was, that uh-huh. made the news and stuff yep. back then. Yeah, I think you're talking, you know, all that time ago. I yeah, remember. I've been in the military since 1983 up to the present. So. Now, what branch of the military were you in? I've served in both the Marines and the Army. Okay. And uh, what do you, uh, I mean, as a military guy, what uh, what does this do for you today? Uh, shock, dismay. Uh, you know, it, it, it's a complete total tragedy. You have, uh, obviously, do you have, are you are you a person that has a great deal of confidence as being a member of the military, still has a great deal of confidence in our national security, in our military? I'd have to say yes. I mean, it, it, it's been really shaken today by the event. Yeah. But, uh, I'd say yes. Yeah, that we're going to recover from this. All right. Is there anything else you'd like to uh, you you you'd like to from your standpoint from something? I think it's different when you're in the military. I really think it is different. I think this is a uh, and then when you when you when you get to watch the television and see these people burning the American flag and they're and they're uh, and they're handing pieces of candy out in celebratory fashion. I mean, it's uh, it's sick. Well, I've I've served three different occasions on tours in the Middle East. The entire mindset that they have over there is completely different. They have no qualms about dying for their uh-huh. peace, and uh, and it's obvious from what's going on in Israel even now, and their reactions and stuff. They've always viewed America as a, a very huge evil, yeah, and uh, <clears throat> are, are thrilled whenever they make a target of us. Um, the Beirut bombing, the Kobar Tower bombings, for them these are high points because they're like picking at a carcass. Yeah. In some ways. That they there's th- almost, a, I was seeing on TV the other day, there's almost a, uh, it's a religious 
uh, with a religious ba base, they become something very uh, 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 almost uh, it's sainthood, a, a martyr, martyrdom. a religious martyred martyrism that uh, that allows them. Uh, to have more and more riches when they move on to the next life and more I mean certainly at ease and willing to die because there's a better life afterwards right and it, but that's it's general you know it's an, it's an extremist end of it not all of them are <clears throat> evil of that of, of that background or that yeah. nationality or that religious faith uh, that's we can't thing focus to, on that we have to focus right. on the people and the groups that are actually actively involved in this type of activity I, and situation. I, I think that when you automatically, uh, that's a very important point, because just because someone believes of a certain faith does not mean that because the person who is the uh, the terrorist believes in that same faith, that they also believe that right. terrorism is, is a proper thing. And I think we can fall into that pretty easily. Well, and you don't want to fall into that. The basis behind terrorism is, is to get their message out and to cause, I mean, the root word terror. Yeah, and inflict as much terror, and if they can inflict casualties and grab as much media as they possibly can, that's their goal. And, well, I but, think they, uh, I think they might just very well have accomplished their goal today. Ah, uh, very much so. Uh, Michael, thank you so much for your phone call. I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Bye. Uh, it's WRCK at Rome. Uh, I believe we'll have an update on the latest here from uh, AP Network News. We're going to rejoin them, and we'll come back with some others. I have some cancellations, and then uh, how do we handle this from here? How can we get? Uh, I have some ideas. How can we help? Uh, I have some ideas, and we'll go to that coming up in a second. This is uh, WRCK, Utica Rome, Keeler in the morning, sitting in here in an afternoon. A very terrible afternoon. September 11th, 2001 is a day that will go down in the history of our record books. The history of this nation is being one of the... Uh, one of the worst Mars on our, on our history. One of the worst days. Well, to echo FDR, the day will go down in infamy. Let's uh, let's do this. It's two o'clock. President Cheney and White House National Security advisors. He says the military is on high alert.